Right, welcome everybody. I'm gonna wait for everybody to arrive up on the live. But tonight we talk again about knife crime and solutions. All right, I'm gonna add a few people up to the live. Well, I'm just adding people up to the live, so I'm not sure. Um, do I need to? Right, I've added a few people up to the live. Hi Sunny, how you doing? I hope you're having a lovely day today. It's very hot over here, like very, very hot, but it's lovely. Yes, my darling. I'm going to add you up now, all right? Hello. Yes, my darling. Hi. Hello. Good to see you. How are you? Another hot day today, isn't it? Oh, I know. <laughs> it's a nice one. It's a lovely, lovely. But I was just saying on the live that yesterday, very productive live. Yeah, we did really well. Yeah. We spoke about a lot of different things, didn't we, yesterday? Yeah. Had a lot of input, and we're hoping tonight we get a lot of input and people wanting to come up and talk to us about solutions to knife crime. Absolutely. Right, so if anybody wants to come up tonight, just please request us. We ask that you share the show as well because there, there must be other people out there who want to speak out about what's going on on our streets, isn't it? Absolutely. Because and I just want to give a little shout out to um miss kiki lawrence that's another one of my young people that i used to work with that's joined in how oh, amazing big up to you darling oh bless her thank you for joining us now lauren said she wanted to come up on the live and hey. tonight yeah so she just texted me before and um, there's a couple of others um that i'm gonna try and get on that i've spoken to but they're not sure if they're going to, you know, be back from work or whatever. So I've just said, no stress. If they come up on the live, they can come up. Um, but, yeah, I think I will send the live to Lauren. So to everyone out there, it's my daughter, uh, Laws Versace, an artist, mum, my daughter. But, yes, she wanted to come up and speak tonight um, about knife crime. So oh, yeah. Speaking. Yeah, so let's see if we can add her up. But big up to everybody locked in. Right, that's, uh... We sent her this live. Oh, it's hot, isn't it? Oh, I know. I've got my fan on. Have you? <laughs> it's just blowing oh. hot air. You know what it's like, isn't it? Mmm. Uh... Right, I've sent the live over to Lauren. So hopefully, she, yep, she's joined. Right, you may Yay. me. Oh, here are, she's requested me. Brilliant. Right, fantastic. Bless right, her. Adding her up now. <laughs> We're doing well, girl. I'm proud of you. Oh, us. my I God. How much Hi, guys. Hi. Oh, Hi. <laughs> Oh Thanks for God. joining us. We appreciate it. Um, you you lot got um, love hearts on that one. I want some love hearts. How do oh, you yeah. do? <laughs> <So, laughs> <laughs> right, okay, you've got to have love hearts. You 
Uh, up here, girls, we've got Proud and Gifted um, up in the place, doing exceptional work out there. <laughs> uh, enough love to you, Steve. Uh, big up to everyone. But yes, we've got my daughter up with us tonight, um, alongside Chris Starla. So Hi. Um, we want to hear what, with knife crime, Mm. What do you think could be solutions that we could be doing that may work? Oh, man. It's just, like, personally, I think, you know, we had this conversation yesterday, yeah, about people, they always say about, oh, open youth clubs again and all this, yeah. Mm -hmm. No, I don't think that that's doing anything. I think it, uh, well, in fact, hold on. And then also there was this other thing that, you know, older people can get involved and try and deter it and try and talk to the younger ones. But I don't think that that's working. It's like, it has to take you. Yeah, um, it's like for young children and young people in general to just understand, we need to just stop this. You get what I mean? It's like their mindset has to change. Social mm -hmm. media, it's come very far. You can't go back now. Mm -hmm. And like, that's what I think is aggravating it because it's like people like I don't know it's like demonizing kids as well do you get what I mean social media yeah. we said like, that didn't we it's Sorry, demonizing them yeah yeah so I just something has to happen with that social media shit man something well, I, don't, that... I don't know what but something has to I don't know yeah would, well this is what like we me? said yesterday we were like, yeah. like, a lot of people mentioned it. That it was one of the main things for social media. And we were like, how? How? You know, like, we want ideas. We want people to, you know what I mean? Um, just ways that we could do something about it. Mm. Now, somebody yesterday talked about hey. um, Katie Price, wasn't it? Um, yeah. That she is battening in court. She's been doing that for two years because I looked um, into it yesterday mm. and she's battling for Harvey Law, Harvey's mm. Law, which mm. is for online trolling. Mm. And by all accounts, it's the um, to get people ID'd mm. who are on social media. Mm. Um, we were talking yesterday about maybe kids, you know, up to 16, 18, just banned, not not to yeah. be at all but how do we get that you know how yeah so we're open we're listening we we want people's ideas you know what i mean mm -hmm. that we could try and change something but i definitely think that's a major point there the social media um M social media is just, it's just spiraled out of fucking control yeah like, yeah it literally has it's just fucking like Sorry, can I actually? Yeah. No, swear? we were swearing yesterday. I don't even care. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but like it's just spiraling out of control. Like, it, well, it has. It has. It's like yeah. every every single fucking thing that happens, people jump online and then oh, yeah, this like right. the other. Yeah. Like what happened to the days that like shit happens? You just keep it to yourself, or you just try and deal with it. Do you get what I mean? Why has everything got to be in your face and for the world to fucking see? Like, it just pisses me off, mm. you know? I think, again, it goes down to social media because it wasn't really social around media, before. Yeah, it's and good, but mm. it's bad. Like, Agreed. Yeah, no, definitely. And that's, def that's been, it keeps reoccur it's a reoccurring theme. You know, anybody that's been on, anybody speaking out to us, and even ourselves, mm. social media is a big, big issue. Yeah. So it's going to take people with suggestions, how we could tackle it. Um, I believe we can do something. Um, I, don't, I don't think it's, you know, impossible. Mm. So mm. I do have the faith that we could do something with that. Mm. So please, anybody that's locked in, if you've got any suggestions, how we could do mm. something mm. With, about the social media. Now, mm. Katie Price, she's been in court for two years and mm. the law is still not passed. 
Mm. So the other that's, issue, that's with someone with a big following as well. Exactly. Like, mm. So what I realised is anything kind of going through courts, any petitions, you're looking at a few years, mm. unless there's a quick way to get emergency laws in. So mm. we would need to speak to people who know about COBRA. Mm -hmm. Is that something that we could march for and demand mm. that we have these certain... Um, emergency laws put in and we'd have to decide what is it because look at how quickly yeah since this covid thing look how quickly they've switched up the roads stopped yeah. all the parking things look yeah. how quick they've put plant pots in all these roads and you can't go down here can't do that but how quick are they acting on young kids dying yeah like how, how, how quick they ain't doing nothing hmm. agreed that's got to change. This is why we are doing what we're doing um, to try and get everybody to work together mm. to actually get these solutions done. Mm. Like mm. it is, it's an emergency. Christelle has been saying it's a war on our mm. streets, and our mm. kids mm. are literally being slain in the streets. Mm. Mm. Yeah, okay. it's true. And I think what's sad is that where companies and organisations don't make money from from this issue they don't want to help um mm -hmm. i find it really shocking that you know i sat there and thought about it how can youtube actually allow these videos to be shown yeah this is the other thing they can they, they know what's in them how are they letting that mm -hmm. um out yeah without, yeah mm -hmm. without stopping that but that's that's another thing that needs to be tackled as well now, I just want to big up everyone up on the live as well, because I noticed we had, who have we got? Um, who have we got? Uh, Paco Suave, big up to you. Um, BMF Hag, big up to you. Mac Jayu, if you want to come up next on the live, all right, because we want to hear from you as well. All right, so just okay. request us, okay, and we'll add you up if you're still there, Mac. Mm -hmm. uh, big up to Craig as well. Enough love to you. We'll get you up on the live. Let us know. Mm -hmm. You can come up on the live after. All right? Yeah, to be honest, I'm reading through what um, Craig just said, yeah. And he said, it's so true. So many people put things on social media that they want people to see, which is causing depression, etc. Don't get me wrong. It's good for promoting your business or community organization, which is true. But, you know, we have all these young, immature, bloody people on on. <laughs> friggin instagram to say the least and exactly like they're just abusing instagram and doing this and that yeah. on there when they shouldn't even be on there yeah. <laughs> you and know the thing and unless something comes into place mm. it's not going to change mm -hmm. i can't see it changing mm -mm. Mm -mm. it's just going to get worse isn't it yeah exactly yeah. and what's really interesting is that a young person has just said here i like your music but yeah. children, girls and boys, it really portrays this fuck life behaviour on all of our young kids in the music industry needs looking at. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I yeah. mean, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Come on, Kiki, come and join us when you're ready, girl. Oh, yeah, <laughs> as well. We'd love to hear from you. I saw Mr Payne as well. Big up to you. We'd love to get you on as well this evening. So, yeah, yeah. we'd love to if you're up for that. Massive big up to Mafiella as well. Enough love to you, my yeah, darling. Yeah, just saw her on there sending oh. bare kisses and that. Hi. Oh, she's <laughs> smashing it out there, man. <laughs> oh. um, yeah, everyone's got something to prove yet. Yeah. Mm, literally. Uh, peace and love movement as well. We've got them up. Um, I've asked what? them to come up tonight Child. because when we were speaking yesterday <laughs> about um, the horrifying knives that are out there, Peace and Love Movement are trying to do something about that. They've started a petition and mm. I just thought it'd be good to speak to them um, to see, you know, what they do and about this petition because obviously we're behind it and we're, you know, going to be pushing that. Mm. So it's very, very good. Um, any other messages? Uh, oh, it's Peace not. and Love Movement are just saying they're late. That's all right. I think we're going to go... Uh, yeah, I'm just trying to think. Is Kiki going up next? Because I haven't had a request from uh, Mac. So Has she know. requested, bless her? No, I haven't got any requests here. So if you want to request whoever wants to come up next, mm. um, who have we got? TikTok. 
Yes, Sarah Sassy Sense is saying TikTok too. Horrific content regarding mm -hmm. lifetime. Oh, I, I also think, yeah, do you know what? People that repost these yeah. things, yeah? People mm -hmm. that repost it, that's not a good thing to be no. reposting. I don't know why that people feel it's raising awareness. It's not raising awareness, is it? It's just it's just putting your eyes through something that you've probably already seen. And it's like, it, almost in a sense, when you're reposting it, you're glorifying it. Do you get what I mean? Because you're passing it on. Yeah. yeah so the people that, that do that is also a part of the fucking problem. Like, do you get what I mean? Like, we don't need to keep seeing the stuff reposted. Oh, look how bad this is. Like, we know how bad that 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 situation is because we send we it to the police fucking, you know yeah. yeah exactly instead of sharing it letting it go viral and yeah. it just i feel for like these parents out there that exactly. are seeing the video of their murdered children yeah before mm. they even know or even knew like and yeah. the whole world seen it yeah and sharing it like people know not to send me nothing like that yeah. but i'm just mm. gonna say I have witnessed murders on platforms that I did not expect to. Mm, 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 so, mm. yeah, it, it's a big problem. People sharing yeah. that trauma, that yeah, violence, yeah. that horrific... Because um, you can't unsee it. This is what we said yesterday, wasn't it, mm. Stella? You just can't unsee it. You're just numbing people to it, especially young kids that have access to these social mm. medias. Mm. If they're seeing this on a daily basis, you're numbing their senses to it. So it's not shocking anymore. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's just... That's, that's not, you worry. know... Yeah. Yeah. And it is. It's, it's like people... It, we've become, sent, like, desensitised to this... Yeah. Horrific murders. Like, yeah, it's just so alarming, shocking, mm. horrifying. But this mm. show is about us working together... Mm -hmm. coming up with solutions mm -hmm. and doing something about those solutions mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. yes um mm -hmm. yeah and i believe that we can definitely make a difference mm -hmm. one thousand um, percent i think I you know um they're doing them bleed reduction kit things we yes. should we should definitely make sure that in our local areas and beyond it, that they have access to them bleed reduction kits because that will help. Do you get what I mean? Like, yeah. look how long them bloody ambulances and all that take sometimes, mm -hmm. you know? Exactly. By the time that they even get to the scene, it's like, yeah. you By know, the, 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 the person's probably... Stop filming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To ring the ambulance, <laughs> yeah. So them, them sort of things, that's needed. That's needed. Yeah. Like, without yes. that, that's needed. And that's Whether what it be we, we one, feel. You know. We feel exactly the same. That's why I've started the GoFundMe. But what mm -hmm. we said yesterday was, you know, if you didn't want to... Because I want to put the, the bleed kits in my local areas. Mm -hmm. But anybody else, I was saying, please get together with other people try and raise money for your own high streets, your own estates, yeah. your own mm -hmm. local areas mm -hmm. with the vision mm -hmm. of these going across the UK. Mm -hmm. Now, the West Midlands are doing fantastic down mm -hmm. to Lynn and the people there. They're just, they're non-stop <laughs> trying to raise money, putting them up all different places and we need to do that here. Mm -hmm. yeah. We definitely need to do that. So that's brilliant um, that you think as well, Lauren, mm. that it's a life-saving mm -hmm. thing. It's something to save lives right now. Mm -hmm. So anybody, please um, check out the campaign. It's up on the page. It's on the GoFundMe mm -hmm. as well. So please share the link, get involved, um, add up Lynn Baird, Daniel, the Daniel Baird Foundation. Mm -hmm. um, because we'd be buying the kits from them and there's loads more information as well. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, yeah, big up to everyone locked in. Oh, um, Ian, big fella, has arrived. He's up on the live. We'll get you up shortly as well. All right. Mm -hmm. Right. Um, who should we get up next? Who have we got? Um, who's requested me? Well, I'm going to go for whoever's there. 
Mm. All right. Oh, hang on. Let's okay. see. Questions. Right, peace and love movement. Right, let's add them up. I've never done more than three on screen. <laughs> I think you can do four, can't you? Yeah, I think so. Oh. Hello. Hello. Um, I'm Hello. one of the mums from Peace and Love Movement. Um, we are a group of mums, there's five of us. We, are, we live in South London, Croydon. We have a really, really bad um, stab and knife crime problem. Yeah. One of our groups, son was stabbed in an unprovoked attack. He spent seven days in intensive care. Oh, and for goodness. seven days we thought he was going to die, but by a miracle he survived. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Our kids have been robbed at knife point. My godson was stabbed outside his school. And you know how that all goes. Mm -hmm. So we just set up on our own because we wanted to get, send out. The reason why we're called Peace and Love, our, our message is peace and love and respect. Mm -hmm. Go in peace, go with love, have respect. Even mm -hmm. if you love don't that. like somebody, you can still treat them with respect. We have people yeah. that don't like us, but we just don't get involved with those people. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And we're trying to just send out a positive message. Mm -hmm. We, like I say, we're just a group of moms. We all work and do all the mum stuff. And we fundraised and we bought a couple of knife amnesty bins for our community, yeah. Yeah. Um, which have been put out. We um, had fundraised for some bleed kits as well. I actually have one in my car. Mm. We're just Big. trying to... Our petition, which is why I was invited to speak, and I really appreciate that. We're really not... Um, as you can see, we're a bit old and we're not very up on social media and stuff. Um, but the reason why I did want to come on today is to speak about the petition. Mm -hmm. um, that was written by one of our mums. There is actually a full 1500 word proposal that backs it up. Mm -hmm. And basically what we would like to have, because the petition in itself doesn't actually change anything. Mm -hmm. um, and what we actually are trying to achieve is just to get conversation in Parliament. Because some petitions have done really well but they never get to Parliament and it never gets discussed. And we yep. actually feel that with the amount of stabbings and murders that are being committed through knife crime, mm -hmm. that it needs to be government led. There's so many individual <laughs> organisations, you guys, and we're all doing our bit, but we yes. need support and laws. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, yes, because so there isn't any. So. Mm -hmm. We think we uh, what we follow everyone and we try and support everyone and we think what people are doing like Far and Paul collecting in the weapons and we know that's also going on in other areas. This is brilliant. This is what we need. Yeah. But we also need to stop new weapons uh, especially all mm. these banned weapons and the illegal weapons still being sold on social media, online, mm -hmm. on Snapchat. Yeah. They are, our mum fully researched all of it before she wrote the petition. They are not, they are illegal in this country anyway. Yeah. Mm. But it's just so, crazy how they're getting in, you know, and I just so thankful that you're doing what you, you're doing. Like, mm. we're fully with you on this petition. We'll help you in any way, shape or form. Like, literally. All the petition will actually hopefully achieve is a conversation. Mm -hmm. Because we are fed up with it keep being brushed aside. At the end of 2019, there was a petition that had over 75,000 signatures. That is huge. Yeah, these are yeah. really hard work trying to get signatures. Um, yeah. Loads of groups were working it together. It was over 75,000. It still had time. We were helping the group that had organised it to make the 100,000, to get the conversation. But yeah. what happened was, they called the election. They oh, yeah, and they closed it. They closed Early. the petition, and that was yeah. just the end of it. I remember that. And that is wrong. We need a voice. We are the people. Our children are in danger. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Like, I agree. Yeah. So, I just want to say, I'm just so proud of all you mums over there. <laughs> Right. We're just trying to keep them alive. They're 
thank you for doing what you're doing. I know they're big babies and they're not all perfect, but no matter what happens, you know, we used to have a few fisticuffs when we were young. We weren't perfect. We got up to mischief, but everyone went home to their mum and dad. Yeah, and they got home. And this yep. is, price is too brutal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's literally, it's heartbreaking. But it's about making a change. I believe together we can do it, all right? Mm -hmm. And it's definitely just about coming together. Um, We've got to force it. We've got to say, mm -hmm. we are not Enough. prepared to accept this in our society. Yeah. One of the things that I write, we all manage the social media between us. We all do a bit of everything. And I just write, why do we have to live in a society like this? Yeah. Why do we? That's what I mean. Life in general is hard, but this is something else mm. what's been going on for many years. And it's not right. So you're right. We need to demand, you know, change. I need a filter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, for um, time, yeah? No. Um... <laughs> The thing um, is, this is what we think. It's, it's been gradually building for the last 20 years since Damalola Taylor, Stephen Lawrence, slightly longer than that, um, Ben Kinsella, and it's been gradually, and now we're at the point where people are being stabbed every day and someone yeah. is dying most days. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's addressing. This is not... That's what I mean. <laughs> Kids can't go to the shop, can't plot in the park, mm -hmm. can't get to school. You know what I mean? It's, yeah... So, but then ladies, we have to look at what is the main reason for this happening? What is the cause of it? don't honestly think there's one reason. Honestly, <laughs> I think it's a lot of different things. The combination. See, for me personally, the main reason is territory and drug lords. I'm sorry, I've got to say it. And that's the truth of it. Yeah. Yeah, How do I we stop think that? drugs is part of it. But it's the, the biggest part of it. Work. So, you know, I mean, I was talking about this with one of my clients. The war on drugs and all of that hasn't worked. So you need to find another solution. Yeah. I just because... saw on here as well, I think his name passed past the AJ 100. He, he oh, said, okay, lack the of youth yeah. provision. And he said education. To be honest, I do think that, you know, have it, having children and then implementing the right sort of mindset on them, you know, as, as we were basically saying before about, you know, them having basically respect and things like that. Like right now, the kids, they're not really, well, whether or not their parents have implemented that into them, you know, like going out on the street and being nice to people and still being respectful and, um, you know, just just being kind to others, that's not happening anymore. People like the, the kids yeah. now, it's like they're, they're demonized, as I said. It's like they've been demonized, and it's like they don't care. They don't care about who yeah, they hurt. They don't care, you know? It's true. And that's why we try to make, promote peace and love and respect. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Because I love that about your group. I love the positivity. I love, yeah, we, I love, we're, I love we're it. We're the young people. We like the young people. Mm. I do think that the youth provision is part of the problem. Mm. Yeah. You know, I do understand what he's saying about parents, but parenting is really tough. It oh, is yeah. Tough. Mm. I've got teenagers. Toughest job in the world. There are days when I just want to put them in their bedroom and lock them in and lock the door. But that's not parenting, is it? Mm. Um, I also <laughs> think sometimes... We know children in care through mm -hmm. our work and stuff. You know, that's not their fault they're in care. Mm -hmm. And they're not given a high enough level of care and they're easy pickings. Mm -hmm. That's what we were I talking agree with about you. yesterday, yeah. weren't we? About what goes I actually, on. yeah, I've worked in a few hostels in Croydon actually um, with young people that have actually had blades down their trousers and I've been none the wiser. Um, and these organisations don't do it for the love of the kids, they do it for the financial gain. And That's people like I mean. me. Yeah, you're 100%. Yeah. And I, I, it's only last week I had to go in and safeguard a young person. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, no one called the police. No one called the ambulance. There was three other members of staff there. I'm just like, it's gotten to the point now where whether you've got a DBS or whether you're a support worker, unless you understand safeguarding and exploitation and all of the issues that really surround a young person, you shouldn't be doing this job. 
Yeah. You know, and they, they can't relate these companies, to it. They, they don't know what the yeah. job actually frigging consists of, you know. Exactly. The whole reason why you're but there is to. Everything you that know. you're saying, I don't think we don't, th although I'm speaking, I'm speaking for the group, we don't think there's one reason. There's mm. loads of reasons. There's, there's so many reasons. Yeah, yeah this is, and there's this a is lot. Why we think mm. that. There's really, there are really great groups helping the young people. The young people mm -hmm. need help. We need yeah. less weapons on the streets. We need yeah. less yeah. taking off the streets. And yeah. the young people need real opportunity. Yeah. Well, well, they're about to work for eight pound an hour. Yeah. Because isn't going to be enough to earn to live on. So they've got to subsidise their income with a side hustle or whatever anyway. Mm -hmm. Give them live. real opportunity, real chances, so that they feel validated and they have a purpose. Yeah. Yes, yeah. no, definitely. I've just seen a message from Safe Zones, who do exceptional work. Um, I think that's Croydon Sides as well. Yeah. Um, they're saying they would love to connect um, with the Peace and Love movement. Yeah, brilliant. Because um, they're in, yeah, we need to unite power in numbers. Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Apparently, Farron is looking for volunteers now. And that was something I put on the list today, mm -hmm. was that we need more people doing what Farron's doing. Because it's great mm -hmm. what he's doing, but we need that everywhere. Mm -hmm. So that's fantastic. But so also, we need to stop more weapons coming up, especially the... Yes. Don't get me wrong, we've had a lot of objections to our um, petition, good and bad, and we take it all on board. Whatever mm. anyone wants to say, we're not offended. It's not about us. You know, you won't no. see any pictures about of us. It's the first time anyone's seen any of us. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah. Good to see it's, you. It's, you know, none of it's about us. We, Like I say to my sons, I'm all right. I'm okay. If someone comes towards me with a knife, I'm in my car. I'm fine. Yeah. But we do as well, like when we, we do, like we, we, we hang out with all the mums. So all the people that we're giving information to are mums in the school, in the, all our kids go to self-defence, martial arts, karate, yeah. things like that. We try and promote that. Um, so we need to come at it from loads of different angles. We've got Farron's doing great, but let's stop more weapons getting onto the street. Let's give provisions for the kids what they need. We had a good idea, which we wanted to promote if we do well with this, that you know how you can get, if you're on a low income and stuff, you get tax credits and you can get different help. What yep. we want to suggest is instead of giving um, the help direct to the parent, what you need to do is pay for the child to go to boxing or football or, or martial arts and the money goes straight from the government to the whatever club it is, and then that yeah. gives the kids a sense of achievement, yeah. you know. Mm. My thing with, um, all, like, these kind of opportunities and getting to go places, the problem right now is no matter where our young people want to go, whether it's to a youth club, to a class, to wherever, they're very limited um to where they can go because they are still being attacked mm. they're being murdered on the way or in these places even courses there's been um children like young people murdered recently on a course <clears throat> mm. so how 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 are we going to protect them yeah. going places we i mean we talked about the school patrols mm which are brilliant, and I think they need to be everywhere, getting our kids to and from But they should be funded by the government, not by all our... But if we wait, there'll be no kids, kids left. Raise money and... Exactly. You no, know, yeah. I'm not being funny, but if they can spend whatever they spent, 2.3 million on a conference room, <laughs> they can find money when it suits them. Look at the yeah, money I that's think been spent spend... COVID. They spent yeah. mega money on their website recently. What and mean? you just think, what? Yeah. And it's completely wrong priorities. And this generation, is, that generation is being severely affected. And the generation under them is coming straight up into it. Exactly. Because we've got exactly. kids having knives in primary schools. Yeah. Right. We've got a message from Craig. 
Um, he is the founder of, is it PK, PKC Academy? Yeah. They're brilliant, and what they're doing. Oh, he's doing fabulous. He's saying, if you know any youth that want a chance, send them to PKC and I will pay for them to do coaching, coaches or even playing. It's totally free um, to do. They just, it's just opportunities there. So that's fantastic. Mm -hmm. I'd like to get you on, Craig, as well, if you're free. Would be good. You can tell us a bit more about that. Um, yeah. Safe zones. Right, anyone who wants to come up next, um, please get requesting because we want to hear from so as I'm many gonna of go, you. But I'm going to stay in the conversation. I'm going to go now mm. on the screen, but I'm going to stay in the conversation. Um, yeah. mm. But basically, yeah, we're just trying to get that petition to Parliament to have a yeah. conversation um, to stop the sale, the illegal sale of all those weapons. Mm. Um, we've been, we're investigating some websites at the moment and we'll come back to you. We're just conducting a little yeah, experiment um, mm. because the website is offering disgusting weapons. You know what they are. Um, mm. With mm. shipping, they're pa allegedly based in Spain. We're, we're just doing investigating. Allegedly yeah. based in Spain, but all the prices are in pounds and they deliver Ooh. to the UK. But those weapons are not allowed in this country. Right, we'll now, come back we to would... you because we're just doing a little experiment to see if it works first and we'll let you know how it goes. Wicked. Now, we, we were really talking yesterday, it. we were talking yesterday um, and your name, we were speaking about what you're doing and the petition yesterday because um, we were saying about the online sale of knives. The other thing we, we touched on was the way that they're coming in the post. Mm -hmm. Why are they not getting picked up en route? Mm -hmm. Either end, why is there one? Oh, when it comes into the UK, it goes through an x ray because obviously they're looking for bombs, and yeah, so that's that be, would be so easy to pick up, but it's not mm -hmm. important to them, exactly. And how do they we make saying, them? This is what I'm saying. How do we because that's something that needs to be like they to, can't, the they way just can't to do it through the MPs and stuff like that. Honestly, it's, t it's so time consuming. Oh, tell, tell me about I know, because I've been doing this for years myself. So, yeah. Mm. But, but yeah, so there are ways, but we need to force the conversation. We yes. need to, there's another really good petition going around at the moment. It's not ours, but mm. it's coming up towards 80,000 and that's the longer sentencing, but they've only got a couple of weeks left. Mm -hmm. Ah, right, and they have to get the hundred thousand, don't they? They have. They got a response at ten thousand. You get a response from the government. Oh, okay. The response yeah. was blah blah blah. We've increased my sentences. Blah blah blah. We've done this. Blah blah blah. We've done that. But if you make the hundred thousand, they will consider it yeah. for an actual yeah. debate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But so that's that what we need hard. to do. But this needs to be. This is a national crisis. Yeah. And it is, is na it's nationwide, yeah, it's affecting the all of us. Of the families, we've met so many people. Honestly, we're in tears when we're with them. Mm. Honestly. Well. It's heart it is heartbreaking. And just yeah, even when you yeah, yeah. try and put yourself in a chart, like the, ch the teenagers, the children out there, what it must be like for them. Yeah. Living yeah, in all of the, like it's hard enough as adults, let alone being children. Yeah. It, yeah, but like I'm proud of everyone who's out there doing something, actually trying to make a difference. Big yep. up for everyone like coming up on the lives as well. We really appreciate you. Um, yeah, big up to everyone trying to make a difference out there. Right, I'm going to see who we've got up on the live next. All right, um, try and get as many as we can up. Uh, Pastor Jay says. Ladies, don't be naive. Right, you need to come on. <laughs> yeah, you know come on. About, all right, <laughs> come on, Pastor Jay. All right, uh, who else? This is all by design. Oh, we know it's by design. I know it's by. We design. know that. Set up for money. We know. Yeah, we know all that. But we just want to do something mm -hmm. to stop this. Yeah. Right. Let's see. Right. No one's requesting. There was someone there. Uh, Shady's Beats, big up to you. He's saying Pastor Jay would be good on board. Mm -hmm. uh, he's trying to bring UK 
Detroit together to help bring music together. Good going. I'm a mum as to peace knows. Big up to you, Shady Beats. Do you do music? You can send me some music. <laughs> All right. Uh, who have we got? Big up, Chris Berry. Right, let's see who we've got up on the line. We've got Pastor Jay. Big up. Yeah, so that... Um... And getting the conversation in Parliament is obviously important. That's a crucial way of obviously. Ladies, you know. how we doing? Hey, hey. How you doing? Hey. Right. Jay, how you doing, man? Yeah, man, I'm cool. I'm cool, good, man. I'm all good. I'm all good. Bless up for joining us this evening. Come on. Um, yeah, we want to hear from you. You know, what what do you think we what we can do to stop it? What are the solutions? <laughs> Ah, well, really, to be fair, it's, how can I say, I think people really don't understand, you know, understand the value of life, you know, and it's, you know what, I'll be honest with you, and I have this chat with many, many parents, and you know, it's, I upset a lot of people when I say what I say, but you know what, honestly, if you're that parent that's having your child playing Fortnite or Call of Duty, listening to that music and stuff like that, then you're just enabling it. For the fact, so you know what, like, look, the one game I find absolutely chilling, and I mean it's chilling, is that game Fortnite. How can you go and kill someone and then you dance after? Do you know what I mean? That's... I, I've, never, I've not played it, but... No, no I haven't played horrifying. it, but that's what they do. You kill, you kill your... You kill your 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 enemy, and then you dance. It's it's like a. Mm -hmm. And you kids know, listen, are addicted it's... to that, aren't they? That Fortnite, from what I know. Yeah, kids. Yeah, they, no, are. they are. They are. They are. And listen, do you know what? Honestly, the only way, like the only way, this is gonna stop is, you know, what this needs to be declared as a national epidemic. Because yes. that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's an epidemic. Yes. But also as well, it's look. This is this has been going on. This has been going on for, 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 for 30 years, really, to be fair. And this, yeah. goes, back to, this goes back to Margaret Thatcher's government. And, you know, the, yeah. the rule, yeah. you know, and it was the real breakdown of the family. You know, it's uh, Maggie took away, Maggie took away the milk and, and you know, and, and, oh, yeah. and, her pre, yeah. and her predecessor took away the school dinners, you know. Mm -hmm. it's, it's just how it's going. And also as well, by the breakdown of the family is what I mean is, do you know what? Like, even listen to our music. Like, look, at the end of the day, we're... Look, ladies, I need you. You need me as well to procreate, you know, you know, to, you know, to survive. And actually, yes. really, as men, we're hearing this music that, oh, yeah, these bitches ain't shit. And you women mm. are like, you women are like, oh, the single ladies, throw oh, your hands out there, man. <laughs> you know, it's just, at the end of the day, like, we're, we're, we're kind of being, we're kind of being drawn up. And at yes. the end of the day, Oh, Shady Beats is saying no. Maggie Thatcher, the milk oh, snatcher. Oh, I remember her being called oh, that. Oh, no. Oh, I'm lagging, I'm lagging, I'm lagging. They just froze a little bit. Yeah, there's not many, you know, again, it's about foundations. It's about foundations. Mm -hmm. Now, that's a very, very integral thing yes. in people's lives. Do you know what I mean? And I, and, I, and I just think it's, you know, again, music's one. Lack of youth provisions, another thing. But also, as well, it's about empowering your child. Mm -hmm. You know, and letting them know how precious their life is and how precious other people's life is. Yeah. Teaching people just common, you know, common things like, you know what, love, love, kind, patience and tolerance for one another. Not just for yourself, but also for somebody that you don't like. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? And yes. a lot of that stuff starts at home. Mm -hmm. A lot yes. of people are here blaming the system, but a lot of people that yeah. blame the system, what are you doing at home? What are you doing? Yeah. That's what I mean. There's, there's so much, you know, involved. But you see, right now, what can we do to save lives? Because we literally, yesterday, we spoke about a lot of different things, which was one of them is the, is it, the bleed control kit that literally will save lives right now while we are discussing, trying to organise stuff, talking yeah. about stuff. Um, and we're trying to get them all over the UK. A lady mm. that um, I love to pieces, she started the initiative. She's got them rolled out in West mm -hmm. Midlands. Her son was tragically nice. murdered, and yeah. she researched how he could have been saved. Literally, these kits can keep people alive. 
and saw the ambulance arrive. And the ambulance, it's all in conjunction with the ambulance people. Ladies, I, I get what you're saying there, but also as well, I think exactly what you're doing there could be, could be very, very counterproductive. Purely for the fact of, do you know what? If people know, if people know that there's, there's, there's something potentially there that can save somebody's life, but to end up just teaching them a lesson and to get a bit of street cred, then actually, I think that could have a complete adverse effect. And I reckon... I, I hear what you're saying, but the thing is, with or without it, we're still losing lives. So even if we have course, a prevention, course. do you know what I mean? Like, the it needs way. to be in hostels where, uh, like you say, respecting lives. So that could yeah. be your friend's lives that you could be saving and educating these kids from a different perspective on how to save a life. Mm -hmm. you what know, I'm saying to you is, that isn't... That isn't that, that's a reactive measure. We need to really start looking at the proactive measures. Yeah, but how long is that going to mm. take? And in the meantime, how many children how many are we going to have lose? left, Jay? Do you know, like, even getting laws changed, even getting petitions done, even, I don't know, trying to change, change mindset, all the things yeah. that we're all talking, have been talking about, they're going to take long. We're looking at years. I'm not being I funny, don't want to keep seeing kids, like, kids hacked up. I get up. it. And me too. You know what? I tell you, I grew up in Tottenham, North London, yeah? Do you know That's what? Lovely. Most of the time, before I left the house, you know what? My mum used to check me for a knife. Mm -hmm. You know? That's what my mother done. Mm -hmm. But, she but then I was saying yesterday, somebody, somebody suggested about checking, all, all parents checking their kids' bags. Of course. Of course. Mm -hmm. But also as well is, you know what? Honestly, I think another thing actually, really, that, that people aren't thinking of, I've got... I've got one thing that I think would really, really... I reckon it would cut it by at least 70-80%. Mm. Ooh. At least 70-80%. Mm. You know what? We're so quick to... We're so quick to blame, you know, you know, everyone blame the system, blah, blah, blah. But actually, you know what I think we need to bring back? National service. I've been saying this oh, for 10 yes. years, mate. Yes. I've been saying it for years. Yes, that, years. That is something that makes total sense to me. We've got kids out here, people out here, carrying on like they're in the war. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go to the war and prove yourself there. I'm, listen, I'm for totally me, if, if, you like, if you like fighting that much, listen, go and go, go Afghan and go shoot. Mm. Go mm. And so go we start in a petition for that then? I reckon so. I reckon so. I think we should. Yeah. Because you know also, oh, sorry, darling, but I think also where there's such a barrier in terms of like communication and languages and race and all of these things that contribute to this 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 type of crime, to bring kids together in a way where they have to work as a team um, and accept each other for who they are, it's gonna change how they view each other on the same hand. You know, like knowledge is power. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, but also as well with that, with that is, and I think the the real point is, you know what. Like, um, my dad, my, like, my dad, you know, my dad was in the army. He's in the army uh, for 20 years. And you know what? Honestly, still to this day, my dad can iron better than my mum. My dad does the ironing <laughs> mm -hmm. in my house. And folding as well. Yeah, isn't it? folding everything. You know what? <laughs> give them so many fundamental lessons. You know what I mean? Like, mm -hmm. the way, the way my dad will arrange their room. And it's just, you know what? I, 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 it's, how can I say you, you're taught respect for yourself? You're taught respect yeah. for, you're taught respect for, you know, um, your superiors. And by that, I mean, yeah. I'm not saying superiors, somebody bigger than you. I mean, you know, whether that be, you know, a police officer, there's, you're taught discipline. Like, ladies, I'm yeah. very lucky purely for the fact of, I played semi-professional rugby for 10 years. And oh, rugby, wow. rugby is what kept me in check. It's a game of respect. Yeah. Respect yeah. for yourself, respect Love for rugby. rules, respect yeah. for other people. Yeah. And while my friends were getting in trouble in Tottenham, you know what? I was throwing the rugby ball about. And that's what mm. kept me out of trouble. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and it's good to have that focus, isn't it? Of course, of course. It really, really is. But yeah, and we were saying that yesterday, possible. we were saying that, um, obviously, because I do a lot of support work in different types of hostels with different young people, um, they don't have no life skills. None. They can't make a bed, they can't cook, they can't spell. They don't know how to check a bank account. I mean, that's probably one thing they do know how to do, but they don't know how to... All, all these things that, like you say, gives you self-respect and independence are things that they don't know because they're too busy being demoralised and desensitised by video games, by music, by... You know, you can go onto YouTube and see a young person that's been attacked by a knife and that's still active 
what why do you know what so no, no, you know who that young person is so you're baiting them up and making it even worse another thing is this you know what i think we need to start doing in the schooling system as well mm. like yeah. what we do in america if yeah. you do not meet the require if you do not meet the criteria you don't progress on to the next grade you, you get held back no, you stay yeah. in the same year or whatever you do it. Stay in the same year. yeah yeah because what's the consequence of not listening or not doing anything Mm. Well, yeah, there no, isn't. Exactly. Prisons are, are nothing to these kids. Prisons are a trophy. Mm. Community well, service is nothing. Now, yeah. To be honest with you now, I feel like the secondary schools prepare the children for the jails anyway. Yeah. yeah well, yeah, interestingly, yeah. you say that because I actually worked in a school that was basically for kids that potentially was going to go into juvie. So you're basically saying, oh, you don't fit in society, but, you know, we'll prep you for when you're... I had to leave. I couldn't. I just couldn't stay. Yeah, I'm not surprised. No, oh trust my me. goodness! Now I was going to say, so the what we talked about the kids going into the army. <laughs> now, if we did a petition for that, what are we saying that it's children who've already done crime? No, or no, found everyone. everyone, anyone, yeah, anyone with a anyone. bloody interest. <laughs> That Anyone one listen, and go as, out soon, and like as soon as they finish the school, they go and do their national service. Yes, absolutely agree. I've been saying yep. it for years, honestly. Yeah, I, I think it, me, I personally would, it would be for someone who's going down the wrong road, road or down the wrong road. Mm. But that's my opinion. Yeah, but and again, <laughs> again, the problem is with that is... The problem is that I understand what you're saying, but for me, I feel like then you're, you're you know, even though, listen, some people, there's many where they, look, there's four people on this live. Mm. The way that I would deal with each of you would be different because I would yeah. cater my approach to you. Some people need love. Some people need toughness. Again, you know, listen, we can't, we can't single people out. Mm. It's got to be across the board policy. You know, that, 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 that works for everyone. Yeah. And the thing is, anyone can be a victim at any time or get exploited at any time. So you could be great between 13 and 14. You could hit 15, 16, and that's it. You know, you're out there doing, doing a madness. Mm, yeah. Because a lot exactly. of people that I even know, yeah, I'm not even going to say roughly, like, whether if it was school, area, whatever, but um, obviously... They weren't bad at all in school. Do you get what I mean? Like they, they, they come from good households. They, um, like they've they've had the, what's it, the morals and all that implemented with them from their house, and they've, you know, they've had privileges, and then they still come like what when when they turn seventeen, eighteen, and then they want to do this bad boy thing, like yeah, yeah, because that. it's, it's, it's just crazy. That is what I'm going to say. Like it's all these bad things glamorized. Yeah. Listen, it's got no pension mm. and it has no pet, no dental plan. Mm. Mm. Everybody I know that's done this mm. has ended up in two places. Mm. Yeah. The graveyard or the jail. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's it. That's the only option. And again, it's like with national service as parents, I've spoken about it before. Oh, I wouldn't let my kid go there. All right, so it's either knife crime. On national service, make your choice. Let's yeah. have a poll. Mm. Yeah, mm. yeah, and I know, yeah, people would choose, yeah, not knife crime. Mm. If you so... want to give it all this, mate, and you're not out here doing what you need to do for your child and other people's child, come on, be responsible, be responsible, mm. you know, be responsible. I don't need to grow up. From the from the entertainment industry, from the music, I'm sick of seeing videos with all these boys with hoods on. It's mm -hmm. like, what are you achieving by proving that? What are you doing? I get it, but you're not achieving it's nothing. Ones, you're showing I don't know who generations. Sorry, yeah. I to cut you. I was just gonna say, I don't know if anyone's watched the videos on YouTube of the scoreboards, where literally oh, yeah. it's all about the it's scoring points. That's what it is. Yes, scoring oh, points that. the way and where they murder them and mm -hmm. but they they've got videos it's a out. Game. It's a game. Like, to them now. Yeah, they've got Again. videos out on YouTube that are promoting the different points. Yeah. And the different yeah. yeah. I mean I've seen things a couple like that. of them. I've seen a couple of them on YouTube. 
Like, wow. there's people there's a lot, that there's a lot of like, oh, this one from this gang, he went and done this to this one, and then this one held this L, but then he came back and then done that to this one. You know like, what, we need to start doing now? It's this simple, then. It is this simple. You know what? If there's unequivocal proof mm. and to have a zero tolerance policy on it, do you know what? Mm. If it's proved without beyond the point of a reasonable doubt, mm. you know what? Let's start let's start killing people again. If you murder, that's it. That's it. Death sentence. Done. Mm. But how, yeah, but how would we get that put into place? Well listen, I'll be honest with you, America eradicated eradicated the death sentence for 45 years. It only come back in 2000 and 2010 was when they brought it back. Yeah. Mm. I, I know someone who's all for having us arming ourselves. I want to get him on the life. I don't I don't know if he's about now, but he's got a, a pretty solid case. But hold on. Nah, you know what, though? But listen, I don't like that case because you know what? In America, how many shoot-ups do you get? Yeah. See, I, I'm not for it. But you, you know, know listen, what I mean? And it's like, okay, I'm going to have a gun to defend myself. That's fine. Okay, cool. Fine, no problem. Mm. So now I'm going to have one to defend myself. Mm. We're going to fall out. You bring your gun, I bring my gun. Mm -hmm. yeah. And they're like, oh, well, you know what? That shooting wouldn't have happened if there was a good guy there with a gun. Mm. 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 Yeah. You know, it's, look, at the end of the day, look, look in, in, in margin, like mm. our murder rate compared to America's is, is marginally a lot smaller. Purely mm. because we don't have access on guns. Bring guns into this country, suicide rates will go up. So many we seem to up. have a lot of guns, though. Ah, There's listen. a lot of shooting. There is. Guns, guns There's a lot of shooting. Guns are not that hard to get. Yeah. No. At the same time as well. At the same and time what, as well. What the guy I know um, who's for us arming ourselves, he said there's a lot of... You can't just own a gun. You have to be mental health checked. And you have to... There's a lot of conditions to having a gun. Yeah, but listen, uh, but I am hold on. Get so, on I get what you're point. saying. I get what you're saying. But like with anything, again, so if guns are legal subjects, all those things, that's fine. But yeah. again, like in America, you're going to get these people that capitalize on the opportunity of creating even more of a black market. Because if they're available um, yeah. in shops and they're available in, you know, supermarkets and stuff like that, like they are in America, you know, going to Walmart, you could buy guns. It's simple. You can. You buy bullets, whatever. You know, at the end of the day, you know, there's going to be, they're going to be even more accessible than they are now. Yeah. So the black market will flood and all that will end up happening is, you know, look, the one thing now is that there's guns out there, but to buy a gun, you look at two, three grand. You know, and that's yes. a little hand shooter. That's here now. When I in get, America, when you I can get buy my a gun guy for on, yeah, I'm going to send you a request dollars. and you two can have a, because he's, yeah, I think it would be a good, really good discussion between the two of you. Um, oh, yeah, okay, to talk yeah, more fine. about it. I okay. Do. Right, well, who else have we got? Uh, safe zones, big up to them. It says, you could send victims of county lines, etc., into battle. Needs to be carefully <laughs> thought through, though. Um, the army won't take them. You can't be that loose wired. They're trained killers. <laughs> Well, you're just no, putting stuff on young people that have been exploited, so I'm sorry, I've got to disagree with that. Hold on, very quickly now, so hold on. You know what? Again, that's why my that's why the blanket policy, the blanket policy, and listen, these people will be will be pre qualified. But at the end of the day, the blanket policy is that everyone reports to national service. Some people will be applicable, some people won't. But I guarantee you that at least 90% of people would be suitable enough to do it. And also as well, it don't just cure that. It, it, it cures our, uh, you know, obesity epidemic. There's so yeah, many different that things. That's side of it, yeah. Mm. There's so many things. Mental well-being. Some of these kids, you know what? No wonder why they're fucking depressed. Sitting down yeah. playing fucking games all day. I was out all day running around my estate. Yeah, Never me too. Knock, knock down Ginger. Knock down What's Ginger, run out. It's Kirby. <laughs> Kirby. These kids, you know, I spoke to a kid the other day. Oh, yeah. He did not know what Kirby was. Who the fuck <laughs> do don't know what, what Kirby is? <laughs> <I'm not. laughs> Crazy, man. It's bad. It is bad. But then we've got to blame, you know, you've we've got to blame the people that are making these video games. Like we was discussing yesterday, everyone wants to blame music, but what about all these horror movies? 
how yeah. crazy how computer messed games. up in your head must you be to even make something like yeah, that exactly computer games. yeah another thing so you're just exploiting and conditioning young people to have no emotions mm -hmm. and that's okay that's again, all right well, again, you know again, this is all part of the plan. shady beats is saying exactly you already know that you already know it's part of the plan. We're up against, you know, and I'm sorry, I've got to say, we're up against corporations that have plenty of money, that have agendas, that want to exploit us on a, a daily basis. They want to, uh, you know, reduce the population. They want to brainwash kids so that, you know, in the future, you don't have outspoken people that go against policies. Whatever, mate. Yeah. Do you know it's what I mean? Mm -hmm. You've got to see it for what it is, and the kids are not getting it. They're not seeing, you know... Hip hop, hip hop actually started in the streets, right? And that was created for people to have a voice. Yeah. It's gone from that to people in power to then make it derogatory to make money off of it. Mm -hmm. you, the people that own hip hop buy prisons. So it goes from one account to the other, from one to the other. And people are stupid enough to listen to it and they're stupid enough to believe it. Mm -hmm. it's, cr it's absolutely crazy, isn't it? Mm, right really so the people is. that are telling you to go out there and and, and be a bad boy and, and and be a hoe are the people that are making money off your misery yeah mm -hmm. exactly but then that's kind of why i started the best in britain because yeah. of what is being pushed out in the uk for many years and promoted um oh here, it's lauren got, oh you're still there oh jay oh, still there Mm. Oh, I think his reception, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, because it was going round and round. Round and it? round, yeah. Oh, big up to Jay, though. That was yeah, absolutely. Input, man. Yeah. Oh, right, so I'm going to add up, I don't know who's requesting now, but someone said, bring back the strap. I had it um, back in the day. <laughs> I think a few people had the strap, mate, back in the day. Mm -hmm. um, right, let's add up and see who's on here. We've got Mr. Payne. Right, let's add him up. Mm -hmm. Also, punishment. There's no punishment for kids anymore. They're not scared of nothing. What, what, what do they tell you to do? Take away their laptop. You know, like, <laughs> it's like, yeah. hey, what's the pain? You're right. Yeah, You're right. Yeah, good to see you, man. <laughs> Bless up. Thank you for joining us. No, nah, cool. You know, I, I've, I've been jumping in and out, so I haven't heard most of um, what Jay was saying. I didn't even agree with half the stuff he was saying. <laughs> yeah. That's why it's good to talk, man. Because really, we want we want everybody's, you know, opinions, Input, ideas, yeah. you know, and work together at things that we mutually believe. You know, yeah, and actually do something together. Because I believe. You said, believe you said you said you said you just said the word do something. Mm -hmm. By doing nothing, adds to nothing. So yeah. by by doing something, even, even if it's wrong, but you mean well, you're doing something. Yeah. You know, and when my mum was talking about everyone needs to go to, um, was it well, well, the army boot camp and stuff like that? Well, why to do what? Learn how why to not? kill? Why not? What, 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 what to learn how to kill? What, 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 good, what good has war done? What good has war done in the last yeah. 20 years? Nothing, yeah. okay. But we then we they're learning how to kill from video games. They're learning how to kill from the oldest. They're not getting the last one. Hold on, hold on, lovely. You was talking. I just want to have a bit of time. <laughs> <That'd be> okay. <laughs> All right, sorry. All right. All I'm saying, right, look, we, we, we know that the, this government has, has lied and cheated and stolen from many countries. We know the history of the Europeans when they've gone to different countries and they've 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 pillaged and raped and murdered and killed so we want to put our kids in the mindset of being in this war environment when they're already in a war environment already just mm -hmm. by being in their neighborhoods mm -hmm. you know we need to open the green light and let them understand that they can be doctors lawyers bankers whatever they want to be yeah you don't need to go to a, into the army to have a discipline you can you can bring back you can bring back boxing martial arts into schools that will easily yeah, bring discipline that, yeah. in, into schools yeah, they've took yeah, away they took away they've took away 
um, if you if you like, no one can lose. Everyone's a winner in football and in running and stuff like that. Mm. It's, it's, it's silly. This is why mm. England in football don't win nothing because that's the mentality that we're bringing our kids. We're softening them up and going into the going to the, <laughs> if you want if you want to go to the army, that's fine. That should be an individual choice. You should not be forced to go into the army or a boot camp or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But the, the only but, reason, like I said, I would think about Agreed. something like that is for the, the positive. people out there that are hacking people up with but, but, but how does that stop things how, that, you know how do, out yeah, but how do you think bears. Yeah, but, how, but come on how do you think that started you know, you, you, look knives have been around for years knives have been around for years i'm 44 knives were around before i was we've got t we got video we've got tv so now we're just seeing it more yeah mm -hmm. knives have been around for you for years Right. And, and murder's been around for years. You know what I'm saying? We've just seen it more. We're we're yeah. dumbed down to it what now. What do you but think would it. work, though, Mr. Payne? What? You know, like, because we just threw that out there as a yeah. suggestion. I, I heard that. I heard that. Mm. But, look, we know the school, the, the, the school system is not created to make you a winner. It's no, completely yeah. not. Definitely. Because, because if, if the school system was there to make you a winner, Mm -hmm. They'll tell you about stocks and shares. They'll tell you about being a boss. They'll tell you about being a CEO of a company. Mm -hmm. They'll tell you that you're going to run a company, not, not, not be a worker. But mm -hmm. because, the, because the school system is created for us who, who went to local schooling is to be a worker. Yeah, these yeah. young kids now, 2021, they don't want to be working in, in Sainsbury's and McDonald's and stuff like that. They see all the madness on the videos and, and how people are making money, how you're a yeah. drill rapper, you go to prison, you come out and then you sing about snitching on your friend or snitching on yourself. And then now you're getting loads of dough and all that stuff. And who entered and who pays for these videos? It's not the black community. It's not, it's not, it's not the working class community. It's these rich mother... Can I swear on your life? That's yeah, I'm it's, these, it's these rich motherfuckers. <laughs> it's these rich motherfuckers who, who pay these young kids, yeah, and these and these men as well, and these women to sing about degrading themselves, degrading other women, degrading young men, black boys, white boys. What? Mm. It's just negativity, and they're the only ones who are getting the limelight. So you go and watch BBC Extra, and you got that these dicker DJs playing these snitching drill tracks mm. time and time it's and time horrible. again. When you listen you... to those lyrics, yeah? Because, uh, yeah. Yeah, because the, the, the beats are catchy. The mm. beats are catchy. Oh, yeah, the beats are sick. And you're hearing the, the and, you're feeling, and you're feeling the rhythm, and then you stop, and then you stop yourself, and you listen to the words. And you yeah. think, what the fuck are you saying? Mm. Yeah. You know? It's shocking. So, I have had... Um, a lady who sent out her son's track, please listen to this. It had that, like a lot of views on it. I was really like looking forward to listening to the track. When I listened to it, I swear not, I was horrified at what her child was saying, mm. what he'd been doing, what he had been doing. Um, like, I mean, I'm, I, I, tell you, I have a lot of real rappers on my show. Mm. I don't mind people speaking out about what you've done, but I want to know how you've turned your life around and that you're pushing out some kind of other message to, to other yeah. people. Yeah. But the, the, oh my God, it was horrifying. Mm. But that was his mum that sent that out. And I couldn't because, believe because mom, Because mum's not even listening to the words. No, mum's not. And that's not the shock. words. Mm -hmm. and, that, and, and that's the problem. And, and look, you go to the clubs and you don't hear, you don't, you, no one dances to positive music no more. Mm. No one, I no, do. no. You, okay, <laughs> we're old school, we're old school. But the young kids, yeah. they've never experienced both a balance of both sides. Because when we was when we was growing up, except for the young lady in the, on the right, <laughs> left, um, we had a balance stuff. of music. We, 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 we had the hip hop. We had the hip hop and the NWAs, the public enemy music. Then we had the Lauren Hills and and and, 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 and the Maxwells and and, and yeah, you know music, we, we, we had we had a balance mm. because nineties um, and because and because the, the, the so called um, hip hop music and stuff like that was not local to us. wasn't Was not overseas in America, so we didn't realize that. These guys were actually talking about Pookie down the road, who he did stab. But now we're hearing this drill music, and he's talking about Little Mikey. 
who, who, lives, who lives in Peckham, who he, yeah. who he, di who he dipped and he dripped and he, all that shit. Yeah, and, and now, then not only now, that, now, he, ro he robbed him, he then pissed on his grave, he done all sorts of things. So now it's more familiar, even and now it's more familiar, yeah. and now it's more familiar, and then now everyone, now, now the young kids and, and even adults are, 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 are literally just mimicking the American yeah. style of, of, of snitching on yourself. Cause that's what they're doing. They're snitching on you, and what they don't think the police, the police are not haven't got a team who actually listens to every word that you that you rap and talk about and investigate. Well, a they lot of nicked, haven't they? There's been a lot um, that have you know ended up getting nicked or their videos taken down. But it seems to take a long time. Yeah, well, well and who, but who can, and who controls the um, YouTube? Who controls Instagram? Well, if if you talk, if you if you talk about the vaccine, if you got, if you if you've got a um, an, a different side of 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 of, a, of um, believing about the vaccine, they'll they'll close your um, account straight away. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, because you're 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 talking you're talking about the other against side of it. The, what they're the, saying. Against, it? yes, against the agenda on BBC, everything else. Yeah. Yeah. But so they will just close your account. But yeah, you watch videos of people killing each other, people talking mm -hmm. about all this and, yeah. and this great de degrading women and pe and people of color or white people. It doesn't matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they will let that fly, and you will get your likes and you get your ticks. Yeah. But you, you you talk about you talk about the government's uh, the government's um, a um, activity that they want to do, then you get wiped out because there's an agenda well, about breaking pe breaking community. Mm. That's talk the other thing as well. Listen, I can go on, but I let the girls talk because I've, I've been talking. Yeah, uh, I, don't want I know to what talk. you were saying before about in school and like how they don't um, they don't implement certain things. Like yeah. that would be beneficial. Like I personally think, even myself, like throughout secondary school. Obviously, I went to a school where, like, there was a lot of, like, local gang violence, whatever, whatever. Like, there was Brixton down the road, then Hearn Hill, then Peckham, then Tulse Hill, all of that going on, yeah. I'm in the height of it. So, um, what I thought would be beneficial is that a lot of the things that we were learning, yeah, the teachers would always say, like, if, um, I don't know, that like, they, they used to make comments like, oh, you won't get a job um, you won't you won't work here. You'll end up working in McDonald's. Or you work here if you do this and that. But like you don't understand that as an individual, they might be going through this and that crisis, and you're just you're putting them down. You're making them believe that they should just be workers, not bosses. Exactly. And completely. Yeah, I think that they really stress to us about learning Pythagoras theorem and all this shit that we don't even use <laughs> yeah. yeah we don't even use that shit I have not used that I'm 24 now life, I have yeah. not used that a day <laughs> in my college like nothing so like as you said the stocks and shares marketing and fucking you know managing your own business business proposals that sort of things like that would be so much more interesting understanding, and more understanding about taxes Understanding exactly. about paying your bills, understanding about what credit cards money. to get if you Budgeting. want to get them. Come <laughs> yeah, on. That's the way money, make yeah. money. <laughs> like, the school like yes, yesterday yeah. we spoke about first aid in school. Yeah. Um, yeah. In particularly how to save someone who is bleeding. Mm. I mean, it's awful that we it's come to this. Mm -hmm. But And also we spoke about um, protective clothing as well. Stab proof jackets. See now, see, see now, see, this is the thing. So now we're just we're we're we're, we're um, reacting instead of actually dealing with the with the problem. And if yeah, we dealt yeah. with the problem, then, then then these kids can be kids and live like kids. You know what I'm saying? But because because um, the police are understaffed, because because um, my community don't want black. Uh, and brown faces to be in the police force because there's a stigma around it, and because the police force has systemically um, uh, messed up my community for how many years and got away with it, um, it's, it's, there's a disconnect, and it's going to be years and years and years before my community decide that oh it's okay that my, my cousin wants to be a police officer. We still got, we've still got the scars. But for me, I feel that um, we need more black and brown faces in the police force, not just on the beat. They need to be fulfilled whatever levels that they, them as an individual is ready to go, yeah. go to, you know? Yeah. 
But there's such a breakdown of, um, like, for example, if you had a cousin that wanted to be in the police force, there's people in your family that are on road that are automatically going to show hate to them. Yeah, so it, it affects families. And, and, and back to what you said about not having national service. I don't know if you've ever worked in a school, but we touched on yesterday about human rights. You mm. can't say nothing to a child. There's no punishment. If they decide they don't want to do something under mental health or the anxiety or, you know, whatever issues they're going through, they get away with their bad behavior. Mm. So yeah, where but- does it... Where does what? Where do we get to that line where it's like, okay, you have to learn to push past your emotions and actually learn how to do things. Who wants to pay taxes? No one likes paying taxes. I don't want to pay for my car insurance. I don't even want to pay petrol, <laughs> but I don't have a choice. Yeah. What am I going to do? Just drive off after I filled my car up and wait for the police? <laughs> no, that's not mature. That's not how how no. life is. And and again, back down to basic life skills. Something like being in the army is going to teach hygiene. It's going to teach mm. people how to, you know young people how to fold their clothes, how to wash, how to cook, how to you know push oh, past them. Yeah, but this is again. You've got half of these kids that are in care. That and, and again, yeah. there's the other problem. Yeah. With, Young people are having kids who don't have that life experience. I've worked with kids that have come on boats that have spent their journey traveling to the UK for like mm-hmm. two weeks on boats that have been raped, that have had the, the, the worst experience I can possibly ever explain to and you. So, 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 put, so then we send them to the army? Well, it's not about just sending them to the army, but what I'm trying to get at is if that young person has no life skills, has no friends, has no boundaries, has no support, has nothing, how do you incorporate that person back into society in a safe but, way? Do you see what but, I mean? But, yeah, no, no, but it's very easy. By electing the right leaders to run this damn country. This, co- but, this, this, whole, this whole country has elected... No. This whole country has elected time and time again these these the waste, wasteful people who yes. have who have who have stolen big trillions of of, of of um trillions of pounds from the us from us, yeah. from us taxpayers. What happened through lockdown? All these MPs, brethren, um, opened up their their PPE companies and they, and, and and what got billions and trillions of of, of dollars from us. All right. So Literally. until until we until we stand up against the government who is mashing up our country, mm. yeah, and mashing up our towns and our cities, yeah. All right. Until we stand up, that's why this march is going on on the street, and, t- and everyone's too busy going to the going to a park. Oh, Boris said we're allowed to go to the park now. Oh, we can go to the bars now. Yeah, there's 1.8 million people on the streets of London. Yeah, a couple of weeks ago, where was everybody else? Everybody else was in Brixton, chilling, having a great time in the sun. I was out there in the middle of central London, locking it down. And this is what every, people thought, what? I didn't know there was a protest. I didn't know you get that t- at every protest and every march I've been to London. Listen, the last yes. Week, the last and one I did, I helped coordinate the nationwide, uh, your city says no to serious youth violence. We hoped everybody was going to come out. We did manage to get 45 towns and cities, but I was very, very, I had my eyes opened, just put it that way, um, trying to organise that, get people to come to that. Um, there was a lot of excuses. There was oh, a too lot much. of uh, not very nice. It was very negative, not positive. Um, yeah, so I, I found that very, very difficult. Um, yeah, the and, last and, one I went to. And, but this is the thing. Sometimes uh, people people are oh, I'm I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of marching. If you if your mindset is to actually make your community better, you can't be tired. You, what you are we marching for? This is what we spoke about yesterday. Because every look, look, time go I've ever gone, you know, we're to stop. You know, the death stop. But we're not actually saying we want this. We want that. No, but this is the thing. This is what people don't 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 understand. When you protest, you're there. It's an, it's an advertisement to whatever issue you want to do. With. It's not. It's not, you don't, it's not like I'm going to walk the streets and make noise, and then everything's going to be fixed. No, you're marching. Is adver- you're advertising because not not everybody sees and understands what's going on. A lot of people walk with blinkers through their lives and don't realise there's uh, there's police brutality going on in Brixton and in Peckham and in 
and holds them or, or wherever because they've never they've never been in that environment where they see the police being doing doing the wrong things and and they've never been arrested so they don't realize they just think the police are good and and and, and then everybody else is bad if you get in trouble with the police you know what i'm saying so so you when you when you go to a protest you you use a protest to to make noise, shake shake a fence, scream out loud, let people notice. What's, why is the street blocked down? And that's when you start communicating, and then people will hear other stuff. And you go to areas that people just don't know. But they, they, everyone goes to a protest for for different reasons. No one no one person. Like what from the one point? Good for us to go though, and all know what we're going for. And get it. All right. So the last protest, the last protest was for for um, anti vac people who who are against the vaccine. People who are against um, um, the, the government want to vaccinate yeah. um, kids from six months upwards. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's one. The other one's about kill the bill. They want they want to stop this 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 fake lockdown where where the, the MPs can drive around just to test their eyesight and stuff like that. Where we're locked down and we've got our own we've got our own companies and build uh, our own companies that we built and we're and, and we've got employees and then they've told us I need to lock it up and now. My business is gone. My eight staff, how are they going to pay their bills? Anti-lockdown, yeah? You, you, you've got the Peter Patel. Sorry, my window's open. You've got Peter Patel trying to implement all these immigration um, 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 new, new laws while we're, while we're sitting down at home not knowing what she, what she wants to do. There are so many reasons they why pushed, people went out I'll tomorrow. I'll tell you what, they have pushed through laws that we're not even aware of yet. And this is, what well, this is the other thing. This is what they're mm -hmm. doing. They're pushing laws to suit their, their agendas. That's not even to do with COVID. At the same time, yeah. it's the COVID. Yeah. Mm. And, 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 she, and then she's trying to put in laws that you can't protest. So if there's more, if even one person protesting, you can, you can get done for £10,000. What's now, that about? To, Where are we to, living? I to Hunger ask, Games, well, maybe. Mm -hmm. Right, what I wanted to ask to anyone up on the live tonight, look, what can we do um, to... I've lost my train of thought now. <laughs> Sorry. Right, someone yeah. else will have to take that. I've forgotten. I'll get it back in a minute. Right, Something so what, what was you going to talk about? What, like, the solution? So what would be the main solution that... From, from I can't what remember. I'll come back on. in a minute. Was, right, that's it. I've got it. Yeah, I suffer with really bad anxiety, people. Yeah. No, it's to do with the cobra. Right. There's an emergency law, which is what they put all the COVID laws through. Mm. And literally, they can pass them in days. Mm. Um, from what I'm aware of, but we need some kind of expert up here to talk to us about it, to see if it's like something that we can do. Because I know it has to affect, it has to be a, na a national emergency, a national crisis. So I know that needs to be the criteria mm -hmm. yeah. for it. Well, well, so, well. Well, they're calling the, the pandemic a, a crisis. So this is why they're getting away with so many things. Mm -hmm. mm. It certainly is. Right, but how do we fight that? You know? There's someone who wants to come up on the live. Let me see who we've I can, got. I can jump down. It's not a problem. You sure? Yeah, you cool, man. Back on after any, but thank you, you guys, for you everything. Yeah, we appreciate yeah. you, man. Sorry, right, man. You guys thank right. you. keep on talking. Bless you. Oh, right, here we go. Got... It's interesting hearing that everyone's got a different perspective. Like, you know, and like we said, knowledge is power. So the fact we're all openly talking about it and having an opinion is so positive. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. I love that. It yeah, means that we thought yeah. about helping oh, the situation, got... you know. But I do think, and really, you see what yeah. he was just right, saying we've got... before. I fully mm. think that that should actually be one of the things that we push for is in secondary schools that right. certain other things are available right. for kids Adding to learn up, about. Becca, Definitely. all right, we've got loads of people that want to come up on the live. Yes, Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. Hello. 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 Good girl. Hello, you. queens. Oh. Oh, look at you all. You all look lovely and beautiful. Oh, so As do you, girl. Um, oh, lovely to meet you anyway, because Stali, I've never actually spoken to you before. We've typed, but we've never I actually know. interacted. So lovely to meet you, my lovely. Oh. And you too, girl. Yeah, I know my beautiful oh, my sweet Lee. She's back me and my husband from the beginning. <laughs> and oh. I, I tell you what, though, you two are amazing. I love you to bits, man. Um, 
just what you do for the community as well your just your empathy your kindness your love yeah it's just amazing and i want to say thank you for everything oh. that you do do um, thank you and i mean jester what an amazing artist he's not only one of my best in britain artists He's a Let the Youth Live featured artist as well. Amazing. And he speaks out in his music. He's uh, something else, I tell you. Thank and you. And you're making any... us really, really proud. You do a Friday Thank night you. show as well, don't you? Yes, yes. But like for the people, sorry, say hello to my, my bottom left queen as well. And I, we've that's, never spoke before. Oh, that's How are you? Oh, hi. Hello. That's hello, my so darling. Nice. How are you? Um, yeah, so the, people, so the people that don't know what Sweetly was talking about then, um, I just want to introduce myself properly, like, um, just have an opportunity. Um, me and Jester, we, we just to have the whole bigger picture quickly of Jester, yes, being an artist, yes, he's my partner, right, cool, we've got that, that bit out of the way, right, but how we actually met was that I can't have children, right, so I actually felt like mentally to deal with that, let me go and help out kids that don't have parents, right? So I know it sounds weird, but that is how I dealt with the pain of not having children, right? I was single, I was working 16 hours a day, driving a nice fat Merc on nice money a week, but I weren't happy. I was very lonely. I weren't being loved, right? So I actually went out to nine foster homes uh, in my area, and started giving these kids jobs, yeah? Come and work with me at night time at 10 p.m. and do the graveyard shift and work through till 8.30 in the morning and you can actually earn your own wage packet and we can start making you believe in yourself. And just going back to what you said, Cristalia, yeah? This was something that I gave to my community, yeah? Because I wanted to make a change in regards to a little way of how I could take off the street that don't have no guidance don't have no direction don't have, they all right in the home we're teaching them how to cook how to clean themselves properly how to go and buy right. gas and electric on your own and how to get you be independent right we're teaching them that in the homes right but when they come away from the home and they have to go into society on their own and they don't have no parents this is not the children's fault okay exactly. this is not the children's fault, right this kid, like, I've got one story out of over 100 kids that I've given jobs to, right? And only one of them I saved and took out the foster system. His dad died when he was four. His mum had leukaemia the whole time he knew his mum, right? Mm -hmm. Now he went to 23 foster homes. We saved that child. Today, that kid is a chartered accountant for netaporter.com. I am proud to know yeah. that child. I am proud to yeah. know that he did an impact well. on that kid. And he didn't even know how to have a job interview skill. He, did, he was too scared to go to an interview to get a job because he didn't know how to. So for me mm. to walk into his foster home and say, anybody that's in here over 18, don't worry about the interview. You've got the job. Done. That's over. Now let's move on. Right? Mm -hmm. But you've got me as a boss, unfortunately. So now what's going to happen is you are going to understand discipline. You are going to turn up for work on time. You Thank are going right. to strike rule. And if you don't phone in me in two sickies, on the third time, we're not talking about it, fam. You've lost your job. It's over. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I installed some discipline in the middle of the shift. I'm mentoring yeah. the kids while they're earning money, right? Boundaries. So, boundaries. boundaries. Mm -hmm. And I'm yeah. a girl on my own. I don't have a charity. I'm a girl on my jacks that was single, that was lost, right? I was lost. I weren't being loved myself. I had a bag of love to give, but I couldn't have kids, babe. So I didn't, Me, say, I don't need to share that pain with you queens, right? I don't need to share my personal pain, right? But if I can go and help another child, mm. right, to understand that love, mm -hmm. love, Love them. Yeah, Spread the fucking mm. love. Yeah, because mm. it's going to win. It's going exactly. to be everything. Mm. Teach them how to love. Mm. They call yeah. me money. 
Yeah, because they're mummy here. Why are there yeah. people who say on Mother's Day? It breaks my heart when I hear Happy Mother's Day because I can't have a child, yeah. right? But if I helped out another child that was predominantly, I'll tell you a story about one of the kids, yeah? I, I wanted to give them incentives. When they were working the shift in the middle of the night, it's the graveyard shift, it's shit hours, right? Okay? Yeah. You get that, right? But what I'm saying to you is that when I have one child, I'd say to them, why are you coming in? And they're like, what? And I'm like, why are you coming in? Why are you coming here? Oh, because I want money. For what? And they're like, oh, I want to twist and go, and I want to scoop her. And, cool, no problem. But I'd sidewind them. So I'd yeah. say to them, no problem, give me £100 every Friday out of your wages, yeah? And then yeah. when I've got enough, me and you are going to go and buy that bike together. So this particular yeah. boy, we went and bought the bike. He was so happy, rah, rah, rah. I'm like, what are you happy about? And he's like, I've got my bike. I said, no, you haven't, bro. And he went, what? I said, no, you ain't. I said, the bike's going in the warehouse. I said, you're going to stare at it every shift. That's what you're going to do. Because they right. you some more money. Yeah. You're driving no bike. Mm. Period. Mm. Do you know the day, girls? Do you know the day that I give this boy the twist and go? God works differently, right? Mm. This boy left work. He phoned me up about 20 minutes later and he went, Becky, I went, yeah, and he went, I'm with the police. I'm like, okay, boy, what's the matter? Oh, and he went, they're asking for my documents. I went, so? And he went, I oh, know. I said, I've sold them my documents. I'm like, right, so what's the problem? He went, there isn't a problem, Becky. I'm phoning to say thank you because I know that I wouldn't have had insurance and you just proved the point. Mm. Yeah. I can now drive away. I'm a producer. I haven't been nicked. Yeah. I've got the insurance on my twist and go. The point, what I'm trying to say is I'm installing some discipline, some, Thank you. some direction, mm -hmm. some belief in doing things the right way. Yeah? yeah. And I'm just on my own. And do you know what God gave me out of that? God's got Jester, his auntie, is the deputy manager of the nine foster homes. She phoned me up one day and said to me, Becca, I've got my nephew, he needs a job. I said, is he your real nephew? Because you know Jamaicans. Like, everybody's their freaking brother, sister, mum, auntie, the lot, right? So I was like, yeah, she, there he is, my nephew. And I'm like, cool, he's got the job. We don't need to talk about this, right? Yeah. So we moved on. But what I'm saying to you, out of doing something good, God gave me Jester. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I truly believe that because Jester, I didn't know he could sing. I didn't know he could rap. I've been in the music industry 25 years before I'm in. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And I've done different genres. I've done Damage the Boy Band. We've done Do You Really Like It, gone to number one, managed that. Like, at the end of the day, I've never done dancehall. Right, mm. I'm not. I'm not a rude girl. Be in that set of circuit. Do you know what I mean? Like in that in that way. Do you know what I mean? But I went with it because I know God put us together for a reason. Now, what out of Jester and me, we've created a, a dynamical duo where we actually go out there now and we make positive life messages in our music yeah. to be able to speak to these children through. Music, music right mm -hmm. now we need more role models going back to something i just heard you say before i joined the lives what can we do we yes. can get artists we can get artists to speak more positively in their lyrics send the life messages what sweet lee was saying about the mum saying about the boys music and what he was saying like this it's devastating to know that there is a mother educating that out there, right? And I mean that for someone like Sweetly to put people on a platform where they actually speak positively and they have life messages, and even if they did come from a bad past like jail or done done bad, but they've turned their life around, tell us about it in some yes, paper. Yeah. Yeah. Tell yes. us. Do you know exactly. what I mean? Inspire, motivate the freaking children to understand the pain of what not to go down. It's down to the elders to respect the movement and tell the youngers this is the this is what you can't you can't you can't keep on relying on the parents to educate their children. Let's talk realistically. There's 24 hours in the day. The kids sleep. Eight. They might go to school eight. 
They might see their friends for two or three hours. How many hours does that leave with these parents it's showing influence? That's mm -hmm. if the parents are at home or at work or around their yeah. mates house home to family home. Yeah. How many hours a week are you blaming the parents for having an impact? There's teachers, there's friends, there's circles. Yes, the parents, I feel they need to know who the circles of these children are going into. You need yes. to know who the friends are houses around when your kids come home in a weekend. Oh, I want to sleep at my mate's house tonight, mum. Yeah. Where is the mate's house? <laughs> yeah. When's yeah. the mum of the mate? Can yeah. I meet her? Give a yeah. shit. No, no, oh, that's a babysitter. Boom. Like the door and speed yeah. goal to your friend. Because your kid's going out for the night. No, no, yeah. I'm sorry. No, I haven't got no kids. No, and I know how that feels. I know, but I have brought up children that their parents don't even know who I am. Right? So don't mm -hmm. tell me I don't know how to bring up a child. I've had a friend tell me, you ain't got no kids. You don't know what it's like, Becky. I have my best oh friends my to my heart. And that broke me. Yeah, we don't talk no more. And I don't care about sharing that, that on the right. Because when oh, you yeah. understand that maybe I can't have children, but I have brought up other people's children. And I need to answer a lot Thank of your questions that you've been asking. What can we do? How can yeah. we help? This is what I do on my own. I've joined forces with Jester Dance All UK, and we have joined forces to come up with an idea where we can get a platform like Let the Youth Live. We went to the celebrity football match. We went and supported yes. Baron Alex Paul. We delivered the tune, Save Our Lives. We are on the live last night. Out of that, Baron comes in our live, and we were on a radio show last night while Jester's singing Save Our Lives. That's fucking impact that is that is unity in the world community do you yes. understand what i'm trying to say to you i know i'm very passionate i'm very passionate about what i do i travel yes. hundreds of miles I to Birmingham, and i stand inside forums and i talk to people i pay for that petrol me and just have days off work and lose out on a day's wages to go to ceremonies to stand in rooms and try to impact two Children and tell these kids, I'm in your town, I don't even live here. Mm -hmm. I don't even yeah. live here. I'm 130 miles away from my own house. I don't even know anybody in the room. And I'm still trying to make an impact on your freaking children. Do you understand what I'm saying? So what are you lot doing in your own community? That's why I'm here. I want to know how I can help, how a jester can project his song inside your community. The platform that me and Jester have just created, right, without nobody knowing. No one knows what's about to happen. I think Sweetly has worked out the connection, right, because she's a little detective like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I've seen that only the other day, Sweetly, that there is certain people that are following you that are in my journey, right? Well, yeah. we won't <laughs> right. I'd like to know how you know them. <laughs> these people, no, people have, <laughs> have created an amazing platform for Jester. When I get on that platform, Jester is the only person in my whole life, and I pray. I thank him. I thank him because a lot of my life I got told that I was mouthy, I was bossy, I was too opinionated, I'm too loud, right? I got told that in my life. Mm, now, me too. I've met a man me. that really <laughs> loves me. Gifts. Becky, you're not loud. You're a motivational speaker, babe. And I was like, absolutely. Bruv. Like this, no, I ain't. Like you see, when shut up, I see how them kids react to you. I watch you control teams of a hundred men. And I see how different age groups react. And you're a motivational speaker. Mean, you're you're amazing. in the wrong place. I didn't believe in myself like that, sweetly. I've got a lot of confidence. I don't care what people think of me. But when That's you where I'm your, at family, now. your family's telling you constantly, you're mouthy, you're too bossy, you don't act like a lady, Becky. Lower your tone, Bex. Like this, and you're telling that drummed into your brain for 45 years. Mm -hmm. It gets to a point where you see the man come along and tell me that that was your gift, Beck. 
that was your gift. You need to use that gift to speak to people like you lot and like the kids. Do you know what I mean? So I just wanted to grace your life and I wanted to share. You my certainly dream. have, my I'm, darling. I'm you sorry for so being passionate. I'm sorry for you. being loud and yeah. Sorry. Listen, I'm loud. I'm opinionated. I don't give a shit. I don't care. <laughs> Who are you? You're not going to read my life story in the book of judgment, are you? But when that book's read, it's going to say, yeah, you're a loud bitch, but you know what? You save young people's lives. Thank you. And what? Big if up, it's not man. for people like us that don't have this passion, how many lives are we going to lose? What laws are ever going to get changed? What difference are we really going to make? Mm. We have to be passionate. Where is the passion? Because... I'm finding these kids don't have any. They're just mm. passionate about designers. They're passionate yes. about point scoring on killing people. They're passionate about where they dig the knife in, how much money they're going to... That's mm. their passion. How has how it come to that? Mm -hmm. it's, it's right. Unbelievable. I can't have kids because I was beaten so badly by one of my abusers that I'm probably never going to have kids. And, and, mm. and I'm a real victim of knife crime. I'm a real victim of exploitation. I've been fighting this system for 25 years. Mm. 25 years. I've had people, you know, it's my story, you know, which we'll get into on a, on a later date, but I am the real deal. And I'm out here spending my life getting qualifications in safeguarding to go and help young people. I've been told I'm crazy and it's all in my head when perpetrators are coming into hostels because you know what they're looking for. But I, that's all in my head. And these are by people that employed me, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. When does it stop? When does it change? So we have to have our, our passion and we have to be opinionated. If not, you know, it's going to go undetected like it has continued to do so for all these years. Mm -hmm. So hats mm -hmm. off to you for what you do. Who cares how big your mouth is? We need people like that to go to Parliament. I'm sending you, yeah, mate. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Facts, can you, Becca? <laughs> oh, the last... Oh, you know I want to do for... Um, um, batteries gone. Oh, bless oh. up to Becca, man. No. Oh, bless. No, always, um, and big up as well, sharing your story and yourself as well, Cristala. You know, um, I'm very proud of you and your amazing work too, man. Proud of you, girl. Thank you for this opportunity. Look at what we've got. We've got so many people engaging and talking. You know, and I think this is even the first time me and Laws have even seen each other on cam. Know, and we've been chatting for the longest. Yeah, and Laws hasn't... I mean, you don't often do lives either, I do you? I never do lives. Because... Yeah. Me either. Time, the big up, man. You know what that's like. Hey. Yeah. You know, buddy. So it, it's taken this for us to help build our confidence. Yeah. And it's not even for us. We're doing it. That just shows you what type of heart we have. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And the thing is, it, t it takes a lot, you know, like, I know we both suffer with the anxiety, mm -hmm. PTSD, and it is a lot. So I'm proud of us, yeah, and big up to everybody who's taking part um, in, in this. Um, we really appreciate you. Right, I think we're going to take another request, yeah? Yeah. Yes, let's do it. Lot, we've got a lot of messages as well. Before I take a request, I think I better go through some of these quickly, all right? Big up to everyone who's been making, uh, writing messages. Mm -hmm. There's a big knife crime demo in London, 3rd of July. We're trying to take as many as possible, all right? So definitely we're going to check that out. Um, mm -hmm. Safe zones, they're proposing to close down child services in North Croydon. I mean, how... Well, I'm not surprised. Surrey's ridiculous. There's so many, so many yeah, local authorities that need checking. Yeah, I've heard a lot of bad, yeah, a lot of underhand stuff happening. Peace and love movement, over 200 laws, she's saying. Safe zones, are they put, hang on. Safe zones, all organisation at grassroots level have to work to tackle the issues. We know contribute to our community and the pandemic within uh, asia blue says salute ladies salute to you darling hi um what's we got where are we at asia yeah they blue. are Mink says, they are bang that's, <laughs> that's when they get lost and get caught up um I've chris berry says some respect. Is, you know I don't know if my Can you see any? No, I can, yeah, but my phone's going a bit slow. I don't know if like, oh. that's what's happening to anyone else's Because I don't know if it's all my account or some of yours or 
peace and love movement say they need children need to, someone to believe in them. Uh, Captain Rambo, man, I didn't even know you were there. <laughs> Big up if you're still there, yeah. Um, he's saying facts. We've got Cash Up Star Records is Bomba. <laughs> okay. Uh, Shelu um, was saying to, about Becca, true words. We love you, girl. Big up Jester Becca, Jester and Becca. Um, true talk, wonderful women. Oh, thank you, Shelu. Uh, Becca's saying her phone overheated. Are oh, we wondering oh, oh, who's going to be your, yeah, your battery or enough love? Um, empowering talk to that lady. Big her up, big herself up. She's a great queen. Big up. She's saying, sorry, the app shut down. Thank you for having me. It was a pleasure as always, Becca. We love you. We love what you do. And now I know, you know, you've given us even more um, about what you've been doing for such a long time. Big up to you. Enough respect for everything that you do. Um, Croydon Council is bankrupt. I yep. think yeah, that's what we are. They are. I'm not surprised. Um, oh, you, it's... <laughs> Someone at the bottom says, UK MILFs are so hot. <laughs> it's the wrong show, mate. All right? <laughs> wrong show for that. Okay. Right. Let's take someone on the live. Um, who have we got? Real life community plug. Let's go. Right. Let's add you up. Mm -hmm. Now, these lot do exceptional work in our community. Very happy that are requesting to join the live. So... Is it connecting? Mm, I've added it. Mm -hmm. Put the it says go live, send requests. All right. Now, if anybody else would like to come up on the live, um, yeah, it's saying they're requesting, but I don't. Yeah, I don't know. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think tonight we've spoken about a lot, mm -hmm. haven't we? Mm. Actually, it's been really interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, to hear other people's views. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, yeah. And, and it's about that listening to what others have to say and trying to come together. Mm -hmm. Listening and understanding. You know, if only they could do that on road, you know, <laughs> yeah. we'd be able to that's, save more lives. That's another thing is... And I've always said this, that a lot of what happens is over trivial stuff that escalates, mm. that if there was mediators, people who could squash beef effectively could, you know, solve some of them before it gets to murder. Mm. Absolutely. You know, involving... I think that's, we, we that's have... something here that should get um, glamorised is squashing beef do you get what i mean so like if people do have beef you know making it a thing like you know what yeah this and that we had you know going on but we're gonna stop it now and you know more people will probably join on that bandwagon because you know once someone does something someone else will follow but um remember yeah. back in the day there was that bloody beef with um brixton and peckham and then, what, all of a sudden, a couple years ago now, Giggs and Sneakbo linked up and done a song. So then that was like... Yeah, yeah. We need so more of like, that. That sort of thing. Because one thing I mean? I've noticed... Oh, God, it's the cat and dog fight. <laughs> um, yeah, is that the beast that's happening in rap mm. is being escalated by the pl certain platforms who report on it all the time, what's going down. But then kind of goes through and to the streets mm -hmm. and it's causing deaths there. Mm -hmm. And I think what's sad is that we, nobody has looked at the example of what happened to Tupac and Biggie. Everyone wants to play their music, mm -hmm. but they were friends at one point mm -hmm. yeah. and they were set up and we've lost two legends that have made probably the biggest impact, not only in music, but on so many people's view of of mm -hmm. rap music and culture they're not here imagine if they was here today this is what i would love to know if they was here today 
Would they be in politics? Would they be able to, you know, we've lost two men that made a massive impact on the world that was friends, that ended up being rivals and they've both lost their life. Why are people not learning from that? Mm -hmm. And this is what I think we need, you know, role models speaking out because there seems to be a lack of that. I don't know if they're afraid to speak out or there's stuff stopping them from speaking out. Mm. I know. We need... More I think more also more. it's hard because, again, it's the word, oh, you're a grass, you're a snitch, I'm going to kill you if you tell anyone what I've said or done to you. And then mm -hmm. it's constant fear instalment, isn't it? You know, I, I imagine people who have low incomes mm -hmm. are petrified of not being able to pay their council tax bill because they know they're going to prison. So it's all fear installed. Mm -hmm. Definitely. We're right. exploited. We don't get a choice to pay council tax. We have to. No. That's it. You There's no it. choice. You go to jail, mate. Right. How is that? You know what I mean? So it's like on a regular basis, it, exploiting certain fear factors, or it, you're installing it from a young age and it starts with basically what's happening on the road. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, definitely. I'm just going to say peace and love movement. They're saying thank you for having us. Keep in touch. Uh, thank you for coming on because, like I said, um, it's the first time we've seen you. Thank you for coming on and uh, explaining to us, talking to us about what you do and the petition. Um, so big up for that. Enough love to you. And also Becca was saying 100% to what we've been saying. Mm -hmm. So big up to you, darling. It was lovely to see you again this mm. evening. Always a pleasure. Big up to I Am Justina. Massive shout out to you. Is there anyone who wants to come up and um, give us your solutions you think will work for um, sorting out this knife crime on the streets mm -hmm. or your, um, how knife crime has affected you mm -hmm. and is affecting your life? Mm -hmm. So we're taking your lives... Uh, Shelly is saying, uh, yeah, wonderful women. So big up, man. Mm -hmm. Now, I was going to um, also talk about, because we touched on it yesterday, about people using their phones. Somebody's being stabbed. They're bleeding out. And you've got people using their phone filming mm -hmm. instead of ringing ambulances. It angers me. It angers me. I'm, yeah, me too. It fucking pisses me off, yeah. And I swear to God, yeah, like, if I witnessed, you know, someone doing that, let, let's say, for example, yeah, obviously I've, I've witnessed certain things. I don't, obviously, I don't want to talk about this and that, but obviously I've witnessed whatever. And if I had seen someone then pull out a phone and start recording it, firstly... I'm going to get instantly fucking angry. Yeah? I'll probably fucking break your phone, yeah? Don't fucking do that shit. I need to try and help this person. Do you get what I mean? Why don't other people have that fucking mindset? Like, seriously. what? what are you because they want money there? and views, Lord. What the fuck mm -hmm. are you going to do with that? I'll break your phone. Do you get what I mean? What is wrong mm -hmm. with these fucking kids, yeah? They just want to stand there. Oh, put it on Snapchat. Put it on Snapchat. Are you a fucking idiot? Right. Fair enough. If Man. you if you want to do that for evidence fucking reasons and you want to go give that to the police, by all fucking means. Do you get what I mean? Exactly. Why are you putting yes, it on there gonna... for people to like what laugh and fucking like what are you achieving by it? What telling people what oh I've seen someone get stabbed, oh my god. But what is that achieving by posting? Exactly. What are you doing it's achieving posting? glory. Do you get what I mean? I just mm. want to big up as well, it's just because I've seen um, him up on the live. Walking with Giants 24-7, man like Marlon. I tried to add you up, yeah, but he's saying you need to update your um, your phone, all right? So, because we'd love to get you on, man. Like, Marlon is doing, oh, man, exceptional work. He's out there saving lives. Um just doing exceptional work man but we definitely want to hear from you marlon all right so get you on the next one update your phone all right and we'll get you on because yeah we need to hear from you all right definitely um big up captain rambo as well great conversation um if you want to come up on the live come up quickly just um because i did try to ring you today i messaged you all right um 
Oh man, Marlon's saying the iPhone six ain't cutting it. But oh, it should man. be against the law, though. It should be against the law for these to be up uploaded. I'm sorry, but how are you making money yeah. from these streams? You tell exactly. me what victims given consent for that to go on on a viral platform. Mm -hmm. Right, we're taking a live now from Real Life Community Plug. Yay! Right, hopefully it'll connect this time because we've been trying. Let's go. Community Plug. And these lot do amazing work as well. They do wicked videos of people doing great stuff in the community. They're always pos like positivity and about working together. Uh, Marlon saying it's clout chasing at its worst. Absolutely, yeah. I agree with you. I agree with you. Um, even to the point where we've just discussed point scoring. I mean, how is this happening? Yeah. Now, Chris Preddy did talk about that many years ago, and I was like, "What? Hang on, that, is it really?" So I looked into it all, discovered yes, that's going on. It's definitely going on. Mm -hmm. I put it out there on Let the Youth Live. Do you know how much people messaged me and said, no, you're chatting rubbish. Right. Mm. That's not what's going on. Um, but it's true. There's, and like I said, there's videos on YouTube all about it. Who's got yep. the most and versus this gang to that gang. That's not helping matters at all. So no. they're, they're unable to join. I keep trying to add them up. So I don't know if it's there. And it said it was, it says the request is there. Send requests. Right, we're going to try again, all right? Someone is making money, girls. Yeah, someone's making plenty of money. Yeah, Google. It's, it's not, yeah? Because mm. the thing is, you, you definitely hmm. know that they could get rid of it straight away. They yeah, absolutely. They down other things, isn't it? Like, they, they just yeah, prioritise what they want. Yeah, they the silliest of things down. Yeah. If you posted up a it's picture shocking. of weed... Whether it be just a one spliff or yeah, whatever, look, my yeah, like your account, yeah, it's getting reported and you'll lose access to it. It'll get deleted. Yeah. yeah. So why but is yet it that you can show a full blown that's... murder, horrific murder, mm -hmm. and nothing? You can keep sharing it till it's viral. But the only I might thing just that add, Instagram has done murders of children. When yeah. They, um, children. When they've um, yeah, it's not just uh, children. Yes. It, they now have them sensitivity pre warnings, but what the fuck? Like, what? Like, just take it off. Do you know what I mean? Take it off. Why? Why are you putting? Oh, I know. um, view it at your own sort of like risk, basically. That's what they're telling you. They're putting these sensitivity things on these videos. Like, yeah. Oh yeah, you can watch yeah. it, but just be yeah. aware. No, take it off. Yeah. Just take mm. it off. If you know that this right, is like a sensitive... I've witnessed a couple of murders this off. week by going onto certain people's accounts mm -hmm. that I thought would be a safe bet. They wouldn't be. <laughs> yeah, it's shocking. It um, should be against the law. Yeah, definitely. I, I believe that as well. So I don't know how we could try and do something about that, who we would write to, what we or email, or I don't know. So I think that's something for people to, yeah, try and like have a think. We want ideas, something that we can be doing, whether it's, I don't know, tweeting, writing, doing. So please, please just keep coming forward with your ideas, solutions. Um, right, I'm going to try real, real life again. Chris Berry, oh, hang on, we've got Marlon says, it's the Americanization of the inner cities. So, yeah. Chris is saying, shall we stop using this platform? Instagram uh, just really, they just need to, um, they need to step their game up altogether. Do you get what I mean? Because they are failing, like, yeah. a lot of... Young like, people. Yeah, mm. It's true. Like, mm -hmm. they just need to have a whole rebranding. Like, you need to understand that your platform is being abused. Like, if you did... Marlon says a very... Good point there. Sorry to cut you, yeah. He's got, um, he says, them videos have contributed to knife carrying just as much as any other factor. Certain community leaders need to be the first to stop posting them videos. Yeah, and YouTube. I, I, I think they're really accountable for what they're doing. Um, yeah. Why is there not safeguarding teams vetting these videos? You know, at least know what you're well, doing. Have someone, a designated person. 
you know, yeah. making sure exactly. that content is what it needs to be like, or or else it can't get uploaded. You see, when it comes down to music videos and stuff, yeah. Let's just let's just talk in an everyday situation, yeah. I'm a bloody artist, yeah. I try to get my video, which my video, I was not having, you know, certain aspects out of my body, this, that, the other. I got declined because of the criteria not being met, yeah. Why my music video that I put a lot of money into and obviously worked very hard on the visual, I got declined for it being uploaded because X, Y, and Z. Um, as a female, I should be doing this and that. However, I see girls and, and boys, they be dressing up, you know, doing this gang, gang, gang bullshit, yeah. And yet that quality content goes out of the fucking window and that their shit gets uploaded. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. You see? Like, yeah. Madness. Absolute madness. <laughs> For real. Like, it pisses me off. And I think that that's also an aspect that has really fucking pissed me off even more so. It's because of, like, we have social media. Yeah, cool. But then it's also, you see the music side of things. It's like the big platforms, like, they are just, like, they're, they're abusing it as well. Do you know what I mean? They're abusing their platform yeah. for their fucking game. Yeah, breakfast time. Yeah. Breakfast mm. shows. Paul McKenzie put up a yeah video about it, taking his children on the school run, and he couldn't believe what was on repeat. Mm. First thing in the morning, it was either, I think it was Capital One Extra, mm. and he had to literally turn it off. Mm. And that is what they're pumping out, you know, most hours of the day. There was a time when certain things was not getting radio play. Do you get what I mean? Like, if you had certain, like, aspects to your, to your song that weren't, say, like, a banger and it weren't radio, whatever, worthy, then your shit ain't getting played. But all of a sudden yeah. now, it's like, yeah, again... The criteria the, the, is... The, the criteria murder. is just out, like... The, it's just, man, if everything is... But the thing is, Lord... <laughs> Let, let's sit here and be realistic. We're using their platform and engaging on their platform, so they're still laughing. Yeah. He, do you know what I mean? We're having a conversation. They're laughing at us. Tell that well, you're doing it on my platform. I'm what? Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you say anything, you're off. I remember mm. when they tried to um, they tried to get on to Tim Westwood about um this the same shit. Yeah, they were saying, oh, how he is really bad because he's you know. Um, letting these gang members do them crib sessions and they're spitting about this and that, blah, blah, blah. However, yeah, personally, I don't think, yeah, that he is just the problem. The media tried to just execute him as the one, yeah? I don't think... I, I, I believe his There's a lot of them, isn't it? Is obviously a bit of a factor, yeah, undoubtedly, but it's people like Link Up TV... GRM, them sort of fucking platforms just as well as much as any other fucking sort of DJ as well. If you are playing and consenting to certain things, you are a fucking problem. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? I think they should have like a, like guidelines mm. to what can be said and can't. Yeah. To a certain yeah. degree because they, My there's so much that shouldn't. Made unless it's clean. Do you get what I mean? If yeah. I sent them something yeah. where I'm swearing in, I'm not getting my radio play. So why is it that they mm. can go, yeah, I can dip, 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 man, this, 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 whatever, yeah? But yeah, it, it, it still goes online. It still gets played. It still is allowed on Apple Music. It's still allowed on... There's no content control. There's, there's no quality control to it. There's That's exactly control. what... Yeah, that is what's needed. Yeah. Is content control. I could literally do that job for the music industry. Yeah. I literally yeah. have the confidence to do that. I could, like, to be honest, I've got enough sick music that I can replace what's out there. <laughs> like, yeah. seriously. But I don't know how we're going to get that to happen. But um, we definitely need quality content mm. control. I think that's, yeah, definitely. So I don't know how we're going to, you know, get that but organized. But then they also feel what as well, yeah, they feel that, like, you know, by giving these, young people that are saying this and that yeah um you know radio plays is, is is in a sense giving them an opportunity to to make them feel like someone to make them feel you know worthy but it's not cutting it if you're rapping 
bullshit, yeah, and you're talking about taking man's life, doing this and that, da da da. Like, why, why are we co-signing this shit? Do you get what I mean? Why, why, why? Do exactly. Why, why? Like, it's mental, man. Like, I just don't get it. But is it like, you know, like there's a lot of sheep out there that just follow and are just going because that's kind of the majority and that's what's happening. They're just going with it, kind of thing. I think what it is is kids are like sponges they absorb um and most of them probably don't have friends or really friends that they can rely on so when they're going through you know the things that they're going through it's so easy to relate to a drill song because they've been through that stuff so they target their audience and you know ladies we work in music so we see it on a regular basis you know how how much influence artists have on young people um you know and it's all about money. That's mm-hmm. that's all it comes down to. The greed of corporations um, exploiting our young people so that they can can buy these products. So, you know, from just one rap song, you're going to have a young person carrying a knife because they're like, oh, my God, that's from my ends. I need to be safe. Mm-hmm. Then they've got to yeah. think, well, how am I going to raise this money it's to buy these Louis Vuitton? Oh. They are just like sponges. Like, what they hear, they're going to do. Yeah. It's like an influence that... But then listen, and we should be mm-hmm. protecting them. Do you know what I mean? There should be things in place to protect the young people. When mm-hmm. someone exactly. Just said, this will never change. Don't waste your time. The music is designed this way. Yeah, we know that. Obviously, that things. But I beg to differ because I am determined to yeah. make a change. All right, music. Uh, Predetermined. No, I'm determined. I, all right, we understand that part, but obviously more musicians and people with influence yeah, they need to just start correcting things that, that that's what i'm yeah, trying speaking to get out. Like, that people just need to I'm lucky certain things that they're doing i'm lucky i have a lot of featured artists on board who do speak out who are doing me proud doing themselves proud doing their communities proud man this all stems from uh, the government people. telling parents they can't discipline their children to the extent that they need to be well what yeah, I agree. Think? There's no discipline. I don't think there's there's no as we was yeah, right. We was discussing this yesterday and, and kind of that's what sparked the debate between I can't remember his name, he came on earlier about what's happening in schools. Yeah. There we go. Not oh, good no, with names. No, no. <laughs> oh, there we go. Um there's no discipline. You can't as a teacher, you know, I'm not saying bring back the cane, but there is no level of discipline, there is no level of boundaries. So at what point is that going to change? If there's, if they're not having that support system at home, you know, we know things are not going to change. Fire is hot, but you're still going to warn someone not to touch it. Yeah. Also, yeah. as well, yeah. Look, someone just said as well. How many years have we been asking the rappers oh. to change this music? Like, cool. Just because them rappers, yeah, they ain't changing shit. Don't mean that other people that are coming up. Others, are. That, I've got aren't. faith. You know exactly. I mean? So. Obviously, mm-hmm. me being one of the, these types of people anyway, yeah, like, I don't rap and sing about certain things that I've actually gone through or what I've been like, do you get what I mean? Because it could influence other people to, you know, whatever. Yeah, exactly, but to be mad like that's you. That's why my type of music <laughs> reflects a different yeah. side because I'm bringing up more positivity rather than the other shit, do you get what I mean? So... You just have to like weigh up the pros and cons of it, really. Fair enough. What I'm doing, yeah, I've got fan base, I've got you know listens and stuff. But I mean, if if I started talking about negative shit, of course my numbers will be going up yeah. way way higher. Yeah. But I ain't gonna. I'm do ripping that. off wigs. So and... I know that I'm trying to do something different, and other rappers and whoever they can they can do that too. But whether or not you know. Big up. I've, like the ones Big that's already, you. you know, got all the bloody um, followers and all that. Yeah, whether or not that they want to change shit, that's that that reflects their personality and and their heart. Do you get what I mean? So, mm. me. Marlon's saying here as well about Tim Westwood. Mm-hmm. He's not the only person. He's part of a problem, mm. but he's definitely been given a free pass to promote badness that not many could get away with. He kind of has, because others... Who? West, uh, Tim Westwood. Oh. Personally, He's been given a personally pass. Yeah, I can say that 
hold on sorry i think i froze <laughs> personally i can say yeah that um a lot of it with him is that it's other people probably suggesting these artists to him and he doesn't even have a fucking clue about who they are what they do all he knows is that he's got artists coming do you get what i mean and it just keeps his, mm-hmm. his content coming on. He don't even probably talk to these people. Do you get what I mean? He don't even fucking yeah. probably follow them. it's someone else, isn't it? It's that usually the someone artist. else who books these people <laughs> or whatever shows him the... the t- I, don't, I don't fucking know. But it's something like that what's going on. So the media will never, ever, ever portray it like that because they want people to think of him in, in the negative way that they want him to be perceived which yes it's true yeah we can point fingers at him for x y and z but there's just as many other people yeah and platforms that is doing it as well yeah as well we yes. we won't say you yeah. know oh they've done it once or twice it's still happening like things is still happening and people want to turn blind eyes all right let's talk about capital one extra yeah, I don't know who whose station that is. I don't know who the CEO is, but they're allowing bullshit on their fucking station. Yeah, let's talk yeah. about them. Let's yeah. talk about fucking they, they link up quality TV control. Who don't have fucking quality control on their shit, even though they make out that they do. There's there's been bullshit on on their shit. Yeah, and that it hasn't been taken off and it hasn't been refused to to be uploaded. Which other people's music that might be pushing out positively? It definitely uh, needs to be quality theory. control. Yeah. If 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 they're about saving lives um, going forward, that needs to happen. And they they need, like you said, they need to fix up. Mm-hmm. The thing is, ladies, we're we're up against organisations and artists and everyone in this industry that only want to make money. So they're not going to sign petitions because it's going to stop what's in their pocket. Their money, yeah. So, yeah, how do you it. how do you fight money, power, and greed when you're just you know two women on a mission right now? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna take one more question here. It says um, from DJ Mighty. Mm-hmm. Uh, this all stems from the government telling parents they can't discipline their children yeah. to the extent they need to be. I personally agree. <laughs> mm. I definitely do with that. Um, yeah, because you know parents, no matter how difficult. Um, their children can be they go for, to go and get help and literally the only help you're offered is right take away their laptop mm-hmm. take away mm-hmm. their phone try doing that to a child who's off <laughs> um, but it's not a big enough discipline Mm-mm. or punishment or yeah so there's no boundaries mm-hmm. you've, you've got nothing to no leverage Mm-mm. Well, as a parent, you're up against the streets. Who's um, a child going to be more scared of? Your parent that's taking your laptop or someone that's threatening to kill your family? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's the reality. Mm-hmm. Right, we're going to attempt to take a uh, community plug. Yeah, come on. <laughs> I tried so much time. Is the whole music industry, says Captain Rambo. I, I think so. It's sort of like the whole, yeah the whole industry mm-hmm. um dj mighty said if they're not scared of their own parents how are they going to be scared of anyone else but no but that is the whole right. point gonna... like a lot of kids they don't care like now we're in a generation mm. kids don't care about anything they would even do this to their own mums their own dads their own nans they don't give a fuck do you get what i mean so we don't mm. have a generation of kids that can be trusted to look after like fucking their parents anymore because they don't care they will probably tea from their mom they don't give a fuck they don't care what trouble that they bring to their mom's door they don't care if the beef that they're putting out on the streets and their their lyrics that they're using in their thing they don't care if youths are coming to their mom's door and threatening their little sister and fucking you know put put everyone else at risk they don't care about that either they don't care mm. that, that's all that needs to be established is that it don't matter you can talk to these people that you know they're, they're, they're just not going to listen. They're not going to listen. It doesn't matter who it is. But what it is is that we just need to understand that social media and um, the influence of others will impact them to make better decisions, I think. Do you get what I mean? So if they see one person doing something, then obviously 
they will follow on. And that's that's literally what I what I think is well, what should happen. Because it's you know, there's not a lot a lot of people that's really um I don't know, man, they're not using their platforms effectively. You know? They're they're, Absolutely. they're, they're, they're not. They're just putting out bullshit. Like they're putting out bullshit. They, mm. they don't care. They they don't they don't care about yeah, quality control either. Run. Do you get what I mean? There's a lot no. of that going on. They don't care. They don't care. It's all still view more views, more followers, more subscribers for them. And that seems to be the culture, the the norm. Yep. Mm. It's very not. self-centered. It's very it's very oh um it's you or me culture. Um, you know, uh, we have to survive, so so what you know, it, why am I gonna bow back down to someone it's me or you? That's that's the culture that young people are living in. So you've got to think every day. You're living in a fight or flight response, mm. which is putting your senses into overdrive. Um, yeah. You know, so you're going to wake up in the morning. All you're going to think is, oh, OK, well, if I get this phone call today, my body is you're literally standing to attention and, and paying attention to that responses. Um, yeah. Young people don't really understand the fight or flight concept. Mm. You ain't going to be able to run away from a perpetrator, are you? Mm. No chance. Because it's it's got it's a whole process of years worth of conditioning that that person has been been gone through. So when they get older, they then know how to brainwash other young people into it and carry on that trauma. I mean, not to mention another subject, but just to just to raise awareness on it. Um, if you ha if you don't know about FGM, I don't know if you know anything about that, ladies. Mm -hmm. No, no female no. um female the, genital yeah. mutilation oh yes no 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 i do I, yeah I, I, I've seen you know and, and that's an ongoing thing I, I i mean it's trauma upon trauma upon trauma upon trauma so because you went through it you're gonna put your kids through it yeah mm -hmm. and and that where does that cycle that is, break? yeah that's where does that break and, and it's the same thing that that's ha you know in communities the same with what the young people are going through with the mentality of you know road life is it's the same kind of cycle i went through it so you're going to go through it mm -hmm. yeah where do we break that exactly and we need to start you know trying to break that you know yeah do you know why we're while we're talking on um this subject as well of night um um when I was in uni, uh, we had to do a dissertation in it, and um, you can pick what you talk about, you know, like, if there's a particular area of crime or whatever that you want to, you know, do your whole essay on, whatever. Um, I said to my tutor, I said, I want to do mine on knife crime because X, Y, and Z, you know, um, here's like my ideas here's what I want to study here's my readings they said to me nah you shouldn't do that because um there's little knowledge on it and da, da, da. I said no nah, there's loads of knowledge on it because I've got guardian articles yeah. I've got books I've got like you know yeah, what I mean? a lot. so then they said no it's too broad you shouldn't talk about that like no one really can read into it there's no one that oh you should do this and I was like no I'm not doing that because I want to talk about this that do you get what I mean but it's like even mm. people in power and in positions they're deterring us from even talking about this shit they don't want us to um you know research things because you actually start seeing figures you start seeing fucking how un what's it misrepresented certain fucking age groups are and all that like it's mental it's actually fucking mental but yeah literally my uni lecturer said to me don't even bother don't even bother and everyone else was mm -hmm. like yeah don't even do it like um i'm gonna do mine on um what's it i don't know that some forensic shit or something but i was like no i'm still doing mine on knife crime what are you talking about and then in the end because I went against what the teacher said and i researched it all and i got all my statistics and i done all that they didn't give me as much of a mark, yeah? I got deducted mm -hmm. quite a lot, yeah? And then I had to appeal it and all that. And obviously, in the end, I got it sorted out. But it was just because I was deterred. Good. Don't talk about this. Don't research into this, yeah? yeah? So you and do I it. And I still done it because I was like, fuck you. I don't like even your mom. care, <laughs> you know? But it's like... Um, yeah. Big up to you. Mate, the more I've been Absolutely. researching into it, it's like... It's mental. Like they try and say that there's a lack of information. There's information out there. You just have to, um, you have to know where to look for it. They try and hide certain yeah. things. 
but you have to oh, yeah. proper deeply like look into it like I spent days weeks months in the library like I was looking up on this site and then paying for this membership to get exclusive do you get what I mean like uh, so, okay. yeah yeah but what I learned is just you know it, it worried me a lot it really did worried me and and that's just without me seeing what I've seen going through what I went through and all of that shit anyway and what's happened to my fucking friends and people do you get what I mean like I think we might be can I just ask way. you mm -hmm. yeah. oh sorry is it me <laughs> what's going sorry, on I just, yeah I just spotted you up on the live we have the Rottweiler himself man big up to you on? yeah no cuz I just I just what's going on lady you look all over it <laughs> yeah love now yeah, do you know what it is you know what it is? I see the about the knife thing, innit? Like, so I thought I'd come through and just support Brilliant. the thing and give me a acknowledgement, you understand? Like, you know what it is? I'm not even going to lie to you. Mm -hmm. like, the knife situation things, it's a pussy game, you understand? It's my, my language, though, but it's a, it's a pussy game, Don't you worry, understand? we've all been swearing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So I didn't want to be, I didn't, I didn't want to be rude. Like, right now... I know, I, you're not rude at all, I know. It's like, it's like, you see my kind, I'll be real. You see my kind, black people. People, black people now thinking it's all right to be angry, but use it in a way to take life. Isn't it? Anyone can be angry. Anyone can have their opinions, but not mm -hmm. everyone can have the solution to take another person's life. You see it? Mm -hmm. And it comes, to a, it comes to a point in life, like life is nothing anymore. Let's, let's, let's be honest. Life is nothing. Yeah. And it's like, man, them turn into certain different ways to try and get their stripes. Mm -hmm. Being a bad man, being a bad man doesn't mean calling a girl a slag, a bitch, a hoe. Being a bad man is not looking to go and deteriorate someone else or to see someone else's family member. A bad yeah. man is someone that has knowledgeable facts, mm -hmm. knowledgeable ways of uplifting people. Mm -hmm. You understand yeah. what I'm trying to say to you? And it comes That's to a, a bad man. Yeah. And it's like, that's a bad man. A bad man, someone is look after his girl, a girl he's seeing. A bad man is someone that puts feet, put food in them, mom's stomach, you. put shoes on them, mum. That's a bad man. I'm a bad man, you understand? And mm -hmm. it comes to a point like this. Where do every human lay in life right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah? This is where mm -hmm. I'm trying to speak out loud, innit? Mm -hmm. Everybody now wants to jump on this knife crime thing like it's a fashion thing. Mm -hmm. Two Thank years you. ago. Yeah. Thank you. I'm so glad ago, you said two, that. Two years yeah. ago. Two years ago, let's take it back two years ago. Everybody's on this team. Every man, every man now want to put post up videos. Well, we need to do something. Shut the fuck up. Listen, knife thing was happening before. Now it's yeah. a clout thing where it will help you get numbers and views. I'm not into that business thing. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Everyone should have been look back in and looking after people from day dot. Mm -hmm. You understand? Mm -hmm. Same thing exactly. as this Black Lives Matter shit. Oh, Black Lives Matter. Listen, blood clot. Everybody lives. Everybody lives matter. Everybody got a heartbeat. So every life, blood clot matter. Mm -hmm. But what I'm saying is, don't use a negative to give yourself exposure. Mm -hmm. That's what I can't tolerate. Exactly. We're the same. We're exactly the mm -hmm. same. We've been saying this. Um, uh, yeah. Mm. All the I've been doing this for years. Viral. Mm. This is what I'm saying. And it's like, me as a black man, mm. I'm proud that I'm a leader. I'm proud that I do what I do and I bring people in. I'm proud that I respect We're proud you. of you too, Rottweiler. <laughs> <laughs> like, and it comes to a point like this. If I'm the last of the realest black men, why I state it so strong in very vocabulary in a aesthetic way is because it is that way. There's a lot mm. of men that can tell a woman, I've got your back. Mm. But they ain't got your back. They just got your intentions. They ain't got your back. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You understand? <laughs> you understand? And a man, a man, a man that's willing, a man that's willing to travel mm. overseas for you is different to a man that just wants to cross you over a puddle. Mm -hmm. It's the distance, yes. it's the length, yeah. it's the atmosphere, it's the criteria, it's the phenomenon. You understand? Mm -hmm. It's 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 the impeccable ways that creates mm -hmm. a man of of the extinct of higher valuable. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm -hmm. And yeah. it comes to a sense, and it comes to a sense as a black man, where do black people live? Everyone says, yeah, it's all about black. Yeah, it is all about black right now. Because black people are getting used as criminals. We're getting used. We're getting abused. But at the same time, what about the white people, that other white people that are doing bad of their kind? How do you think the other white people? Oh, so we've got to look at it. we got to look at it like this now. 
we got across the bridge from both both colours. And right now, it's not really about. It's not about colours right now. It's not about colours right now. It's about learning, growing, expanding, treating, teaching, expanding, expanding one's memory. You get me? But yeah, sorry to go on. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, like, but, yeah, yeah, yeah. a lot of fire up on the. Uh, yeah, it's oh, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Comments. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, Rock Island. He's the realist. Big up, man. So, yeah, What's interesting, actually. Yeah, you. Is that sorry? I'm I'm a mixed race woman. I'm half Egyptian. Um, my mum's half Belgian, half English. Um, it was only a week ago that I was told I'm a white fat bitch. Um, you know, and I've had I've been called a black bitch. I've been I've had so many people slander me because I'm mixed race that. Um, or I'm not, you know, a size. Yeah, yeah. That, and that's it's a like conversation. right. Mm. But you know. And what Go on, go on, sorry, go on, go on, don't be rude. Go on, oh, sorry. Uh, um, and I have people tell me, you know, uh, it, it's just so derogatory as a woman, who's someone who's out here, who's fighting for culture, mm. for us to come together. You know, my country's been been robbed by the, by the country that I'm living in, which I'm a quarter of anyway. So, you know, I'm just like, well, hold on. The British Museum has got but, you know, two yeah, cameras sitting you know in it. Is. But do you know what it is as well? I'll be real with you. Like these two ladies, yeah, they're white. We're black, straight. That's how it is right now, yeah? Mm. We could, a white woman can do something that a black woman did. They'll be all right. A black man would do something that a white woman did. Whoa, you can't do that. We're exactly. living in a world, we're living in a world of the society of judging. This world yeah. is called judging, yeah? A, man, a black man can walk with a white girl. Oh, why is he with her? Or why is she with him? They yeah. don't see, people don't see the blueprint. They don't see the small print. All they see is the bold writing. You get where I'm coming from? Yeah. So, people out here need to fix this. It's all this. They need to fix this. Because once you fix this, your eye vision become a different view. You understand yeah. what I'm trying to say? And it's like, there is fat white women, fat black women, and what? And what? Because she's fat, what? She needs to lose weight. Because she's skinny, what? She needs to eat. Wagwan. What's really mm. going on? You get me? Yeah. So what? Because she's got small titties. Oh, she's got big titties. Oh, she's a slag. If, listen, if a girl feels good for how she is and who she be and for what, how she walks, mm. then, yeah? yeah? Mm. Because nowadays there's a lot of women that need another woman to give them an uplift and, and, and grab them up. Because there's a lot of women that will watch a woman fall off the bridge mm. and be like this. Oh, she's falling. <laughs> literally. No, 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 you can't do that. You can't do that. Listen, at the end of the day, this is how I see it. Every day, every morning I wake up, yeah, I work hard every day, yeah? Mm. We need to start standing for all of us. Right now, it's not an individual fight, right? Mm. No. Right now, no. Right now, it's about harmonization and critical yeah. format of in development mm. of the mindset which needs to be over progressed in the mm. such a way that needs to be learned. You get what I'm trying to say? Mm. And it's But that, you know the other thing we're up against, darling, sorry to cut you, is that this, no, you know, good. like you said, the glorifying of being a, um someone who's campaigning to stop knife crime, it is it's done for glory. Oh it's yeah. not done oh, for, oh, for the yeah. love. Yeah. And then you'll find the these people that are doing it. They're, they're, already, they're either still in a gang or, you know, they're, they're taking the money and investing that back into the but streets. And the road. You're right, but check this out, baby. Yeah? Like, sorry, sweet, the one in the corner, that's what we're thinking. Oh, do you want to speak, sweet? Sorry, I'm all talking. Oh, no, you no, you're doing yeah. fabulous, You know what it is? The same, people, the, same people that are, the same people that are talking this, let's stop this, are doing it. You get yeah. what I'm trying to say? There's a lot of hypocrites. Oh, yeah. There's a lot of men out here that's gonna fuck. Let's be real. And there's a lot of men that are fucking kids that are still behind closed doors saying, "Oh, don't do that," mm. but you're doing that. Yeah. And it's like, it's if you're living a hypocritical mm. life, it's gonna be very an astonishing, astonishing mm. where you can't prevail yourself in a very certification way. You understand what I'm trying to say? Mm. And it's like, how can these grown men say something but can't really back the thing? Mm. And right now, it's like you said on this Instagram. Now, it's all about like me. I'm doing the right, but they get tired of it. But they get tired of it. Yeah, but they get tired of it. They get tired of it. They get tired. 
The realers don't get tired. I don't get fucking tired. I'll speak my whole damn mind. If you don't like it, know what to do. I'll call you an evil. love you. You understand? Listen, I'm a man. I stand for what I know. And I ain't scared of consequences. You understand what I'm trying to say? And it's like, it's like, it's like being stabbed twice. You understand? Look, I've been stabbed twice. You understand? Like, in, in mentally, physically. You understand? And it's like, it comes to a point in this. It's, it comes to a point like this. What are we, what are we all living for? you got to deep it. What are we all living for? Are we living to impress or are we living to invest? What's, what, uh, that's the real question out here. Because I know I'm out here to invest yeah. and correct. You understand? There's women out here that need men like us as black men to nurture their soul. Not their, not their ass, not that, that. You understand? Yeah? yeah. Women, need to feel, so, women, yeah. women need to feel safe around men. Yeah. Women yes. don't feel safe from them. Men, women don't want to meet men nowadays because they don't know <laughs> no. what's going to happen no, because no. of the indecency. Yeah. I make you right. Yeah. And that's actually a really interesting topic that that we do need to cover because, again, as women, you never know who you're going to see. You don't know what their rap sheet's like. Um, no. And for anyone who is actually dating, a really good thing to to have knowledge on is Claire's Law. Mm. I don't know if anyone knows about that. Yeah. Um, I, I but, about that. I'm going off my fan. <laughs> but, um, but, but yeah so you know kind of these provisions that we that we do have that people don't have knowledge yeah, of love mm -hmm. um and that's one way as a woman you can protect yourself but it, it, it is scary i don't trust i don't think i trust i think there's only one man apart from my dad i can say i trust in my life and i'm 36 years old i'm a bit like okay. that I, i'm quite a bit older than you <laughs> no, but do you know what it is? Do you know what it is? Age don't age don't define a woman's clarity. A woman nah. a, a woman's age don't a woman's age don't define her love and her capability and ability. It comes mm. to a point like this. It comes to a point like this. If one man can hurt one girl, you can hurt your fucking mom. That's how I put it. Simple as point blank. You understand? Yes. If you can hit a woman, you can hit your mum. If you can spit on a woman, you can spit on your mum. Simple mm. as that. I am playing games out here. Yeah, mm -hmm. it comes to a point like this. Every woman needs love, protection, nurturing, and development. And when I mean development, yeah. development means develop her mind to let her know she's all right. Yeah, yes. And it's yeah. like a, lo a lot of men out here nowadays would rather see a woman feel shit about herself, and he feels like a man for that. You can't do yeah. that, bro. No, you can't do that. But then this Don't is what we're breeding. This is what we're breeding, though, sweet. We're breeding kids that have this again it's me or you so i need to feel good about myself yeah. it's it's a it's not a need anymore it's a want i want to feel powerful i want to be in control i want to get the clout i want this i want 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 want, want, want. Class, you good brother um and it's technology and advertising and corporations and companies and the lack of love and nurturing in family units and support systems that's creating what we've got today and, yeah man do you know what and do you know when women you know when women but not being rude people just in case not be i'm not rude that you know you get some women that turn slags rare 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 do you know why the real reason women turn slags and they fuck bare man yeah it's because they lack love and they lack they lack understanding from others who they thought they could trust that's why females move a certain way and man them are like yeah you're moving like a slag how do you know you don't know what that female's been through how you know no, that woman not always, be, be, you know, not always not always not always some people, think that, slags, no? Some people are just slags, though. Some people are just slags. That's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's slags. true. It's true. <laughs> what do you class as a slag, though? What's your definition of a slag? Yeah. They're just For like me? that. They're just like it. They probably saw their mum be like it. Their grandma. All of us. I don't know. But they're just slags. Yeah? Oh. But even... The definition of a slag... The definition of a slag... Mm. My definition of a slag is... Mm. Someone... Someone that say you were right, say you went Sainsbury to go and get two piece of ice, <laughs> banana, oh, shit. and you see and you see him and you're like, oh yeah, you like him and you're banging him there and then like somewhere, <laughs> like a slag. But a woman you that looks, a, a, a woman that looks, no, no, but a woman, not everyone. My my sex drive <laughs> high, baby. Uh, my like sex shopping tricks. <laughs> hey, listen, my sex. Hey, no, no, I'm not like that in it, but my sex drive is high. But I'm talking Gatwick, you know, like that. <laughs> So we shouldn't, no woman should be judged for it. No, Why should a woman be judged for something that she likes to do? Why? Why? 
If a man can beat out 20 girls, why can't girls yeah. beat out 20 yeah, men? Because a man does it. That's true. Cause... That's true. But it's still not really acceptable because we're still conditioned to be ladies. Do you get what I mean? We're supposed to be yeah, ladies. Yeah, there's ladies. We're, we're not supposed to be Yeah, but there's ladies. We ain't supposed to be out here. I hear you, though. No, I hear you, though. But there's ladies. <laughs> but, 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 women, but women put them in a low cost of value for their own self. When a woman yeah. puts herself in a 20p category... Yeah. A man's going to put you in a 20p category. Yeah. If a woman puts herself in a 500 pound category, a man's going to treat you like a 500 pound mm -hmm. category. You understand? It's where you position yourself in life. Mm -hmm. You get me? Mm -hmm. Because no dirty blood clot girl can come and try to tell me, you're all right, baby. No. <laughs> Later. It don't happen like that. Mm -hmm. Because it's value. we got to work with value out here. Exactly. Value. If you're not value. like meeting like my level, do you get what I mean? Like It's, it's hard to even deal with anyone on any sort of level whether it's yeah. friendship relationship whatever mm. if you're not even on my yeah. level how can i talk to you i can't even communicate with you i can't yeah. do anything do you know what i mean so and, mm -hmm. yeah it's true it's true and i think a lot of people's emotions blind them mm. people's emotions blind them people so when they get in a shit that, that, do you know what i mean they, they think yeah they want and you see what you want. it's true it's true, and and certain fe females are very sensitive creatures. No matter how strong they are, or how hard bodied they are, women are are very sensitive. Women hold stuff like a bucket of water; they don't let nothing slip, but they'll still try to hold on to everything. Yeah, it's true, and it's like I think us men need to start evaluating a woman for who she is, for not what she was back then, and that's what a lot of men yeah, are doing. Definitely. Definitely, but I mean, and I think a lot of a lot of know, yeah, you you can, but you see, for example, let's just say let's flip the script now, yeah. Let's say, all right, let let, let me deal with say I don't know, like that. There's a guy, and then say his past was bad, real bad, yeah. But now he wants to come and now be mm. like, oh, you know, I've changed, and I'm not like this. Sorry, once that like, I, I I'm a strong believer in progression, but I'm not gonna be that guy to, no, to, to carry you on. Do you get what I mean? I'm not gonna carry yeah. you on. For but the thing is about it, what? So you're not you, you wouldn't give the guy a chance. No, I honestly wouldn't. No, that's cold. That's cold. Yeah, that's I, mad. I cold. No, that's cold. <laughs> no, 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 no. Look, how do you? No, but how do you know his past wasn't based on a situation that he didn't intend to be in? I Is understand it? that, it's a, it's but a, I'm, I'm, I have no relevance in any, anything. If I wasn't there before, I don't care. Do you get what I mean? That's 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 what happened in your life, whatever, blah, blah, blah. Same with me. I, there's mm. certain things that I've gone through, whatever, but I mean, nothing that a guy could turn around and be like, no, I don't want to fuck with her. Do you get what I mean? But there's girls out there that have, you know, a lot of baggage and whatever, and then they'll come to the man and then expect like, oh yeah, the, the man's just gonna, like, as you said, um, yeah, they'll just start treating them nice because of how they present themselves now. Like, it's, no nah, man, you can't do that. I don't, I don't, I don't think you can do that, but you know, each of their own, but no nah, man. Yeah, know. it comes to a point, innit? It comes to a point like, do you know what it is as well? What I've learned as well, sorry everyone, I was just charging the phone now. Like, do you know what it comes to, though? Still, oh, shit, my beat's playing. Shit, sorry. I was doing work at the same time. <laughs> you can like, laugh if you want. <laughs> yeah, you know, for real, I was writing. Like, I believe in it. Do you know what it is? Throughout this whole, throughout whole life, you just got to, like, do you know what? I believe in chances. You just got, I believe in chances and moral respect in it, mutual respect. It Say I'm dating that girl there and the, the mixed race girl or you, or, or sweetie, I'm dating one of you, like, and you had a past. Me, me personally, <laughs> me personally, I wouldn't give a shit in it. I wouldn't give a shit because to me, that was a baggage then. And if I meet you and you've got baggage now, I'm going to be a man and help you with your baggage. I'm not going to let you struggle with your baggage. Why the fuck am I going to stand there well, and let you sweat and pan out? And you're good. That's so nice, isn't it? Not and it's, nice. and it's just easier. It's easier to go on Tinder or Puff and be like, okay, cool. I don't, what do I need? You know, and this is where it, it get. Oh, she froze. Oh, no. Yeah, she's frozen. <laughs> you know what? She should turn her camera on. She should turn her camera on. No. And turn <laughs> but yeah, man, it's just straight real. Like, you get me, man? It's just straight real talk like that. You get me? Like, it's just mad. It's just mad how certain men treat females nowadays, and it's like I know. 
and it needs to change. It's refreshing to hear you saying what you've well, said today. You. <laughs> it's, yeah, it makes a refreshing change, man. Yeah, but you know that. what it is. You know what it is. I've got, uh, I've got a good mum. You understand? And it's like I've been through shit. You know what I mean? I like, I've got. You know what I mean? I've been in situations nine GBH, seven ABH. You understand? I've I've got a record. You know what I mean? For bare arms and that. Like. But all my, all my felony was all based on being at the wrong time, but defending myself. Mm. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I would. I would date a girl with no TEM bum. Listen, she can get still get the same river of motion. There, you know? then, yeah, <laughs> yeah she, can, she can still get the river of motion and motion, you know. <laughs> like that, that. <laughs> uh, no, shift beats. No, shift beats. Oh. He says mums. He's basically saying he swear you're telling the truth when he says mums. That's what he meant. But yeah, no, oh. but I just thought I'd come through and just um support you, babe. That's all. And, and nice to meet Thank nice you. Nice to meet you, I'm my so love. Happy. The maddest thing, I was going to message you earlier, you know, to say, come on. But you did this Why anyway. Did you, so I don't bless. hesitate anytime. No, anytime. I, just, I was mad busy. And I just, but I had it in my head. You know what? I'm going to, yeah. And I yeah, did yeah. it. So brilliant that you come on tonight. Thank you. Appreciate you. All no, right? I love, you know, I love you, B. Come on, you sexy, beautiful. You know I love you <laughs> too, man. man. <laughs> come on, man. And you smashed it on my rep, your ends, man. Oh, love thank you. you. Yeah, you Thank went you. in. <laughs> yeah, listen, listen, do you know what? I'm here for a reason and my job is a purpose and my life and my passion. My passion is what I do. Passion is what I'm here to do is kill anything around me. You get me, so? Yeah. But yeah, love you, sis. What's your name, darling? Yeah, mine. That's Laws. That's my daughter. Oh, don't fuck about. <laughs> yeah. Bumper club. Well, Mom, man. easy, baby. I'll take you on a date. I'll ask your mama. <laughs> I asked him on the theatre. No, 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 uh, Christella, I'm not sure. Right, I'm gonna try real life community plug again. Yeah, I'm gonna try please. you once more. Who have we got as well? Big oh, up right, to if Pastor anyone Jay as from well. my page is locked in, I don't even know because I can't see. Um, and you want to come oh, on the you line? Can't see anyone and just yours. request a comment. Oh. Guys. Big up, Miss Croydon as well. Enough love to you, darling. Um, yeah. She's saying big up as well to Rottweiler for your contribution. Shiv's Beats as well. Massive, massive shout out. Um, uh, oh, there always has to be one negative person on the line. Oh, who was on there now? Tickets longer. Oh, my God. It wouldn't be the same without them, eh? Uh, Miss Croydon is saying values and standards. Mm -hmm. Some people have none. Yep. Mm -hmm. Ain't that the truth, ma'am? Ain't that the truth? Right, I'm not sure. Christella's gone. She's mm -hmm. left the live. So I think we're going to probably finish up. Yeah. Um, I've got no more requests up on the live. Mm -hmm. So I think we're going to finish up. Yeah, I've, I've tried real life communities like loads mm -hmm. of times. I've just tried them again. Oh, so gosh. I don't know why. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, somebody says they're um, real what while you need your own podcast. <laughs> yeah. I was <laughs> even does, thinking, mate. yeah. That like, do you see just on certain topics anyway? You know how opinionated I am. I never reflect that on my Instagram at all. Like, I'm actually thinking maybe I should even fucking start my own one because I think people will just actually enjoy just how yeah, I fucking and like I said, like how I am as a person. Because people be like, did she really just say that? Yes, I did. Like, there's like, like even you know before when we was talking about um. You know that whole oh accepting a man with all that but like, nah sir no 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 I don't want that <laughs> I'm no, well, I don't want it <laughs> I don't uh, want it oh uh, Miss Corridor says take care ladies enough love to you my darling um I wanna shout out every single person that came up on the live yeah. everybody who's had input tonight we're looking to do this a lot um going forward so please join us, please. Any solutions, anything you want to talk about to do with knife crime, 
Um, oh, Christelle is saying damn phone died. Um, Hopefully, I have to Lord put mine on charge. Fish, no UK. Stop acting. That's a bit rude, mate. What? <laughs> you say, I don't know. <coughs> right. I um, I'm going to put on. Oh, see if she just wants to say we can finish up then. Oh, you need to be a permanent host. I think so as well. Yeah. I think so. I'm yeah. sorry, hey. just going to say, what did they say? Yeah, he said something about he's put on his stop acting crack, love. Who? Let me see. Who said that? Lord Vishnu UK. Do you, Darling, know, come on! Why are you starting something that doesn't need to be started? Like, what are you gaining We're from that? A positive thing. I think I might. Come have to on! Block Get blocking me. Yeah. I'm mixed race. Shut up. <laughs> Honestly, silly. Lauren or and, you know I mean, and even if anyone says anything, that doesn't shut up. Like, honestly, you heard it from my mouth. Yeah. Shut up. Don't fucking yeah, me. exactly. And if you don't like it, don't we're women. Know. Why? Then why you got to bring race into it? Yeah, exactly. We're sitting there trying That's to stop it. it, and you're trying to aggravate it. Well, you picked the wrong group, mate. Let me you tell know, you. I'll, I'll fucking bully you, you really fucking did. out, mate. Like, don't fucking fuck did. with me. Anyway, uh, yeah. But yes, I'm glad we got you back on on the live, Cristala. Oh, I'm. Oh, so, do you know? I'm so yeah. sorry. I was so gutted. I was oh. like, no. Uh, it's been fantastic tonight. Mm -hmm. Just everything we spoke about, everybody getting different opinions out. Um, uh, it's been brilliant. We need to keep doing this. It's a shame I couldn't um, add up. It was um, the community plug. I did try. I tried about 10 times, so mm -hmm. I don't know what was going on. But yes, we're going to be doing this a lot more frequently. Um, please follow us up, people. I think we should Let be doing more and live. more. Like, even if it's not just touching on these sort of things, I think we should just talk in general about, yeah. you know, yeah. whatever. Because people do actually yep. need to hear our voices. Like, people just think of me as, like, the musician or the mom. People be thinking about English. sweet me. <laughs> oh, she's just the DJ. She's always on fucking radio stations. People tell you she's really speaking. And then they're always thinking, oh, Christella, she's always bigging up artists and she's always doing her management thing and all this. But no, get to know <laughs> who we are, okay? That's Literally. <laughs> Literally. All of us. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Tough love. Yeah, bye. Um, can you both ladies who do music put your names so I can follow your page? Oh, Justina, I'll, I'll, um, I'll text you that, my darling. All right, but it's the Laws Versace, my daughter, uh, Christella. Um, what's your actual Instagram? It's Christella, is it one Underscore, yeah, that's it, 171. Okay, no, yeah, you need just... to join us daily. You need to come and join us. Mate, we need you on the panel, listen, mate. Listen, listen. <laughs> I'm going to start doing it. But you know what? Today, I had to make special arrangements with my son. Yeah, I had to basically like say to him, look, mm. I need to go on live today, darling. Yeah, I've not been on live in what, a year. <laughs> my Instagram's been dry. Yeah, people have not seen me on Instagram. I don't even think they still think I exist. Mm -hmm. And then my son, mm, mm, mm. but it's all right, he's gone to sleep now. So I can actually be on another live if you want to come on my live or something. I don't mind. Uh, do that. Yeah, let's but do it. We'll have great. one later if you want. Yeah, we'll do it. Well done, everyone. Then. And big yeah. to everyone who came up on the lives, man. And they did, they came up with lots of different opinions, solutions, mm. and that's what we want. And I'm, yeah, big up to everyone. But yeah, I was going to wrap it up for the day. All right, so I'm glad you got back on, Christella. Right, I know. Oh. So, yes, yeah, so um, yeah, enough love for everything tonight. Um, yeah, big up to us, big up to well everyone. And bringing your um, energy and your support and your um, contribution. Yeah, this has been so the discussion tonight. And for the people that actually joined the live as well, well done to you lot, because a lot of people, they they will see us on here and think, oh God, I don't want to go on live with them because we, we might be very opinionated women, which we are, but well done to you <laughs> lot for having me. <laughs> you know I mean? That's all I want to know. But people will notice we listen to others and yeah. their opinions. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we do, we do. And please, I just want to highlight, if there's anyone that does work with young people or have young people, 
please spread the knowledge of what we're trying to do. Yeah. Um, we're not doing it for glory. I've been out on the road yeah. fighting this cause for a very long time. Mm. I've I've protected kids for a very long time. Please just spread this knowledge because we can help them. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. yep, definitely. Right. And that's what it's all about. Well done, girl. Definitely. Yeah, big up. Right. Um, right, I'm going to lock this bye -bye. up. All right. Oh. Bye. All right. Bye. And yeah, people, just look out for our lives. Yeah. All right, because we'll be uh, picking up where we left off. All right, so please. Get involved, people. All right, we want to hear from you. <laughs> All Please. Right, love, love, everyone. Love, love. Ooh. Bye. All right, have a blessed evening. You everyone. too, girl. See you. Bye.